In seven real life days, all crime on this server will be legal, including murder. Oh yeah, and when it happens, the server will switch to hardcore. But between now and then, there's there's laws. You can't trespass on anyone's land, you can't break and enter, you can't steal people's stuff, and you, you definitely can't murder anyone. If you die for whatever reason before the purge, you lose one heart of maximum health. So myself, Shadow Mac, Lagundo, Sneed, Robert, and Kim all have seven real life days to build a base, get armor, get weapons, and hopefully survive the purge. Next time we do another scenario like this, one of my subscribers is going to get to come and play with us and be in the video, so uh, make sure you subscribe. My plan to survive the purge? Very simple. Form an alliance with another player, build a giant massive tower, and set up a bunch of traps all around it so that on purge night, everyone comes to me and, and dies before they even have a chance to take me out. Or betray everyone, I don't know. Let's figure it out as I go. Yeah, here we go. We all spawned just outside of a village and immediately we all started running straight for it. Everyone picked a house and looted it. The first house that I went into had absolutely nothing at all, but the second one, oh, different story. It had some obsidian and gold. Absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with those things, but you know what? Good to have them. Uh, most of the other houses that I looted had already been looted, so it was just a big waste of time. I realized that if I was going to win this thing, I was going to need to be bold and take risks. So uh, I slapped down a crafting table, got a wooden pickaxe, and got some stone and made a sword. Then I attacked an iron golem. Last time I did this was in a uh, Tommy Init video, and it did not go well at all. I was the very first one to die out of a hundred YouTubers, so uh, that was good. <laughs> Someone just died to an iron golem. That's a very good idea. That's a very. By the way, this is hardcore. So once you're dead, just don't don't do what Forge Labs did. But this time, different story. I pulled it off, and uh, I got some iron, which I used to make a pick. And then I went to the nearby cave where I killed two creepers. Uh, being sure to get their gunpowder, and then I mined some more iron, and I got a bunch of coal to it. It was good. After a while, I came out and uh, killed some cows. I went back to the village, and at the end of the very first day, I had 21 iron, a bunch of gunpowder, and uh, tons of food. I felt like I was doing very well. Uh, so I started smelting all this stuff down, and I uh, first made a helmet. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention, like, hamburger for some reason. I don't know why that was my skin, but uh, I, I don't know what to say about that. Anyway, so uh, next I made some boots, I got a chest piece, I made a sword, and uh, I spent the rest of the night mining. I was wondering what everyone else was up to. Be sure to check out everyone else's video. They also made videos on their perspective from when they were playing, and since we weren't together for most of this, uh, I'm, I, I'm very interested to watch and see what they are up to. It's gonna, it's like watching an entirely other video. So I got links to everyone's videos in the description. Go make sure you watch them and subscribe. You, you know what to do. Oh, 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 what's this? Eventually I found the entrance to a massive chasm and I figured uh, since this was a mountain that it, it, this must lead to an ancient city. So as I climbed down, uh, there was a lot of zombies and other mobs down there. I also didn't have full iron gear yet, so that was, I don't know what I was thinking. I found this opening and I put down a bunch of torches and there was some iron nearby. So I mined that and uh, made myself pants. Getting, getting, finally having a full set of iron gear. With that taken care of, I got a bucket and I poured some water down because there was another section to this chasm. And I thought that I would take the water bucket down and see what was going on down there. I'm gonna die. I'm dead for sure. 100% I'm dead. 100% I'm dead. I'm the first one dead on the server. Look at this! Okay, that told me everything I need to know about going to an ancient city right now that, uh... It would not end well for me. I was able to clear it out down there and get some more iron, but I didn't find the entrance or anything. I didn't want to push my luck, so I, I left and jumped into the river and killed some salmon and, and got out of there. I was trying to find my way back to the village, and I ended up falling into another snow pit. Oh! What was that? After looking around for a while, I finally made it back to the village. It, um, just look who I ran into in the village. Hey, hey. my man! How's Whoa. it going? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I got some new... Oh, we got some friends. Don't kill it. No, I'm not okay. going to kill it. Who are these guys? Uh, this, that is... Uh, okay, I'm going to be honest. That's actually Robert and uh, Sean. I named them. You named them Robert? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> oh, 
Where's my fellow traveling, traveling companion? They pick up stuff from me. What? You got an arrow? Yeah, just drop an arrow. You have an arrow? Yeah, I got an arrow. Yeah, just drop one on the ground. Why, Look what, what happens. Yeah, just do it. Hey. Or a bone. Oh! <laughs> hey! Give me that back! <laughs> Wait, you brought it to me? Are you joking me? <laughs> I want to kill him. Don't kill him, you can get your arrow back. No, he just took it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, babe, now. Oh, he will give it back. Have you gone to the nether yet? I have not. Do you want to go? Uh, Kim and I wanted to do a bit of exploring together, but uh, Kim didn't want to lose Robert and Sean. Hey, that's a pretty good name for those guys. Pretty good. Uh, so he spent like 10 minutes trying to figure out how to trap them in the cement tomb while I just aimlessly walked around the village. Finally, once he got those guys trapped, he put a sign out that says Kim's friends do not touch or something like that. And with them stored away, we left and went back into the mountains. And uh, I guess Kim had not walked on snow either. Oh no, this is not good. I'm sinking. I'm yeah, really I deep. That's what I'm talking about. This is this is very bad. This is very bad. This is extremely bad. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How many blocks was that? Like 10 blocks? Yeah. My goodness. I'm going to be honest. I was thinking about just letting you die. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. Like, I only fell through one block. That was like... Oh. The thing about the purges is you, you spend like seven days goofing off with everyone on a server. You adventure with them, you build big bridges across chasms like this, you, you watch them painstakingly build their base, you form alliances with them, you, they help you out, you help them out. You, you basically, you, you're just forced to trust them. But eventually and inevitably, someone is going to betray someone. That's... That's you! Hey. You have the horn! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Uh, same place I got those of blue things. Uh, is that what you wanted to show me? Yeah. Right now I trust him, and I had no plans on betraying him, but you know what? It's, it's still early on in the game. Anyways, I found a ruined nether portal, and I told Kim to come meet me here, uh, so we could go to the nether together, and hopefully find and raid a fortress before anyone else. I don't know where Kim was. Somehow we lost each other and I had to wait for him to get to the portal. And this is this is where the trouble started because when I'm sitting around doing nothing waiting is when I when I start to look around a little bit. And when I was looking around, I saw an Enderman and thought, you know what? I'm gonna need Ender Pearls, so uh I I'm gonna look this man dead in the eyes. Okay, just gonna move on from... Uh, I lost one heart, okay? One heart down. So Kim picked my stuff up, which is... He didn't have to do this. He, he could have left it there to be destroyed, or he could have even taken it for himself. But he saved it for me, which it made me trust him a little bit more. So I waited until the morning to try to get all my stuff back. But it wasn't easy because it was raining and there was a lot of mobs and I had no armor. and no I, had, I had nothing. I was just a man running, trying to get his stuff. The phantom. Oh, this is not good. I'm gonna. Okay, probably should have probably should have waited a little bit longer before I tried to make the run because now it's down to eight arts and it's just getting started too. In trouble? Yeah, yes, and horrible trouble. Yeah, it's a bad spot. Yeah, I, I, I I'm dead with all my <laughs> stuff so far away. Oh no. Oh, you have a diamond. Sword. Oh my god. Couple things. Wow. <laughs> Do you have any food? Thankfully, Shadow saved me from what would have been my third death in a row, but... What was more interesting than that was that he had a diamond sword. How did this man already have diamonds? He gave me some food, and, uh, I made the run. And somehow I made it back safely. I recovered my stuff and decided, you know what, let's... Maybe let's go to the nether later. Night was falling, so Kim and I, we built this little dirt house near the portal. There was another Enderman nearby, and yet again, I didn't want to pass up the opportunity to get a pearl. But I had learned from my mistake previously, uh, so this time I thought, hey, they can sit in the house and kill him. So I looked this man dead in the eyes. I kind of want to end the pearl, but I don't know if I should do it. Wait, it sounds pissed? <gasps> what do you do? What did I, you just do? I looked at it. <laughs> can no, I, don't push I'm me outside. Just... <laughs> no, he's your dog. Oh! oh my god. <laughs> my dog Is your dog me? attacking it? Oh no. Oh. I'm worried that I will hit your dog. Okay, I'm gonna die. I will save you. But before we could kill him, the Enderman just disappeared. 
This man vanished off the face of the earth you know, without a trace, just gone. And we left the, the little house and we started killing mobs for like five minutes and there was no sign of him. Interesting. Oh, which? Yeah, my dog What's going on? Me. It's throwing yeah. things. What is it throwing? It's chucking stuff. Uh, <laughs> slowness. Oh, poison. Oh my goodness. Can't okay, poison. He poisoned me. I'm scared. Oh my god. <laughs> Sean, yeah, what's on, going on? <laughs> Wait, attacking you? Yeah. Oh, I just made a shovel by accident. Oh my god, I'm going to die. Oh my god. Kim was dead and, uh, you know what? I, I couldn't help but feel like it was, uh, probably a little bit of my fault, so... And then my man, the Enderman, he just, he showed back up again. I have no idea what happened here. How can a man just disappear for five minutes and just come back like this? You ever see something like this before? This was so strange. Luckily, my dog killed him for me, and then I went outside and just recovered all of Kim's stuff while he traveled back. On our way back to the village, we found one of Kim's floating... Uh, the alley or whatever, which means that... Someone must have let them out of the cement tomb. A little cage. And when we got back to the village, our suspicion was confirmed. Wait, someone did. Someone put deep slate here. Was that you? Oh yeah, no, that was not me. No. Oh my god. I put gravel Robert. there. That was Robert. He's the only one who's been down it. Oh, look! Look what oh, they did! Oh my goodness! <laughs> what? How could they? Did they kill one? Uh, let's see. Well, it better not. <laughs> I can only imagine what Kim is gonna say in his video at this point. Are you joking me? Yeah, someone put pump pumpkin in there. What's that? that was, so after a while, <laughs> Shadow Shadow showed up to the village and offered us to, to give us a tour of his house. So we followed him back, and he was living in the spruce forest biome. And you know, I kind of kind of wish I built over. It's kind of a nice area. Uh, his house was currently just a little stone hut, and. Uh, this, this thing gets way bigger. Just wait till you see what this man builds and I mean just go watch his videos see what he does Anyways, we looked around for a while and uh, he showed us inside and things were going well and a Sneeve showed up I didn't know much about this Sneeve guy. It was my first time playing with him and here He, he just shows up at like four o'clock in the morning his time and just goes. Yeah, I've been fishing Just kept talking about how he'd been going fishing or something like that you know, What was this man up to but it was getting late and I, I was my brain was no longer working So I logged off for a little while when I logged back on, I was still outside of Shadow's base, and I looked around, and nothing really had changed. It was still around the same size, and there was no giant walls built yet. It was just kind of a nice, safe, normal area. While looking around, I ran into a infected man. I gotta make a boat. Okay. Oh, he's got a man underneath the ground. However, I was very hungry, so I climbed down the hill and uh, tried to find some food, and all I found was trouble. Specifically, a little baby zombie. You know, these things are deadly. Oh no. This forced me to break one of the rules on the server, which is you were not allowed to- I'm gonna be honest, this is a rule that I broke quite a- actually quite a lot. No trespassing. You're not allowed to go open a man's door and go into his house without permission. You can't- You can't be breaking this rule, but you know what, in this situation, I simply had to. There's no other way. And while I was inside of Shadow's house, uh, I ate some rotten flesh. No other choice. I didn't munch that down. And then in the morning, I left. He is gonna be so confused with that zombie making sounds. Well, all right, time to go. Gotta find some food on the way too. Let me take this. When I made it back to the village, I started clearing out a small section near the mountain. I needed somewhere to keep my stuff, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna stay here permanently. So this was just gonna be my base for now. Well, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go! You are the first of many. You have a massive legacy ahead of you. No, where are you going? <laughs> hey, look, 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 While exploring the nearby mine, I found a spider spawner. Oh, there's a dungeon. Oh, look at all this gunpowder. I have absolutely no idea how to take advantage of this, but I would like to. 
one of the crucial parts of my plan is to set up a mob farm. And I, I've seen people use these things to do that, so I thought, hey, let's get this thing nice and hidden so no one takes it. But for now, I had bigger problems, and the biggest one of which was food. I was a very, very hungry man, and I wasn't quite ready to kill my chickens just yet because I had a much bigger plan for them. So I set up a small wheat farm, and while I was doing that, I noticed that there was a lot of creepers spawning down in the valley, and I was going to need a lot of gunpowder, so I went down and killed them. And while I was down there, uh, there was another enderman. So I built a little tiny, a tiny little shed, and I thought, okay, here we go. Time to look at another man in the eyes. What? The Are you kidding me? Hey, this is, uh, you were just getting started, and I'm already down to like seven hearts, so not good at all. After retrieving my stuff, I finished up with my farm, and, uh, I, I don't know, I, I I started looking around more, and I saw what, what I thought was a nether portal. Is that a nether portal over there? Is that someone in a tree? What is that? But it wasn't just a regular nether portal. This was a... This was a lava cast nether portal. Which meant someone... It was someone trying to speed run this right now? Someone was out there trying to... Speed run the game. So I went in and pretty close to the portal there was a there was a fortress. Is that a fortress right there? That looks like someone built a bridge to it. That's gotta be a fortress. Like what else would that be? Typically I wouldn't drop everything and charge for the fortress, but in the next few hours that place would be more empty than I, I don't, I just have, I don't have, that, that's blank in the script right now. What did I, did I think that I would just come up with something on the spot? It's more empty than the script, that's what the, it doesn't matter, just move. I needed to act fast. I, I had to, I had to get down there and get over to that thing, but the problem was, was that I had absolutely no idea how to climb down, and climb down, not just a little bit, but it was a significant drop down to get down there. But I saw a pillar, and I thought, okay, maybe I'll climb over the pillar, and then build a spiral staircase around it, and get down that way. And so I started doing that, but after I got a little ways down, I realized this is this is stupid. Well, what do, I'm gonna run out of blocks. What am I doing? So I got back up, ran over, got more blocks, and when I came back, I realized I could just dig. I could just use this pillar and just dig down. So I started doing that, and then I realized there was another problem. My pickaxe was about to break, and there was no way I was getting stuck down there without a pickaxe. So I climbed back up and tried to get out of the Nether, but that, that's much easier said than done. I gotta dig faster than the gas can shoot. Oh my god, I gotta dig faster. Okay. There we go. Look at that, he's gonna blow up the... Oh! I was feeling good after that, so I hopped in the portal thinking I was about to be a free man. Oh no! Okay, new plan! Time to get to the... the other portal. Horrible. I'm gonna die right here. Luckily, I knew where I was. Back when we had discovered that ruined nether portal, Kim and I, we had jumped in for just a moment or two, and this was this, this was where I originally died to the Enderman, so I knew exactly how to get home. And when I made it back to my base, I grabbed a bunch of supplies and went straight back into the nether because I, I needed to get to this fortress. This was incredibly important that I looted this place. So I climbed down the massive pillar, I got to the, the lava lake, and I started building the, a giant, massive bridge straight across to the fortress. Thinking, at, at any moment now, I'm gonna die. But I made it, and then I climbed all the way up into the fortress, and sure enough, this place had already been picked clean. It, it completely looted. But whoever was here before did not destroy the, the blaze waters, thankfully. In fact, they had set up a small little section for me to sit in and uh, collect blazes. So I did that for a while, until I started to get overwhelmed by blazes. Oh! This is really not good. I'm gonna die. Okay, you know what? I think, uh... That's it for me. Hey! Just wanted to get out of there immediately, because it was looking like I was gonna die. It was getting more and more likely as my food ran out, and my pickaxe deteriorated, and the number of mobs grew. No! 
how much stuff there is. I can see the portal way down there. How am I going to get through this? Oh, look how much stuff just spawned. Oh, look how much stuff just spawned. I'm never going to make it out of here. The only way out of here is in a body bag. So I put my stuff in a chest and I figured that I'd make a run for it. If I died, I could just come back later with better gear and get the blaze rods. I could have made it. Should I go back and get my stuff? But I, somehow I made it, and it wasn't it wasn't hard. It was incredibly easy. So easy that I ooh, kind of made a critical error and decided that I was going to go back and get my stuff. No! Oh! Hey, that's good. The, the game has basically just begun, and I've already lost nearly half of my maximum hearts. The first night is losing everything. I started to feel like a kind of like an idiot. Just rushing through this, trying to trying to do stuff without being prepared and not take anything slow. So I slowed down. The new focus was just, just to go mining. Take it nice and slow, get some diamonds and get better gear before you come back here. So I dug down to Y-54 and started the strip mine. But you know, when I got down there, kind of ran into some problems. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna leave this area. What is that? What is that? Is that the warden? What is going on? He's still down there. He's still down there walking around. So I immediately resurfaced and waited for like 20 minutes and went back down and just ran straight into the warden again. What is that? What is that? How, I'm not in- I'm in a tunnel. Hey, change of- Change it up. Started mining the other direction. Uh, so I did that, and after about 30 minutes of mining, I found some diamonds. I was literally just about to write in my notes. No diamonds for a man like me. How many- how many- how many- how many- I, get, I can't even speak right now. How many I get? Oh! There it is. Oh! I'm getting a pickaxe. Oh. Then I kept mining and I found more and I made it out with 13, yeah, 13 diamonds, not bad at all. And the first thing I made was a pickaxe, uh, then I made a chest piece, and finally I stashed two diamonds for an enchanting table that I would yeah, make later. I took that pickaxe and I went back into the mine and I dug until it broke, uh, which is completely fine because uh, that gave me 12 more diamonds and I used those to replace my broken pick uh, and make leggings. This was kind of a double whammy because all the while I was doing this, I was keeping as much deep slate as I could because I was going to use this to build my base later. But because I was harvesting so much deep slate, I was running out of room to store it. I was going to need a lot more chests, so I made an iron axe and went up to the surface and I cut a ton of trees down to make a, a bunch of chests. Just look how many chests I made. I mean, man, it was storage for everything. And I was actually going to stay organized too this time. It's a new man. I realized that I didn't really have a weapon yet, so you probably want to... I probably want to do that, so I used two of my diamonds to make a absolutely beautiful diamond sword. This thing is incredible. It's amazing what just a little bit of patience can do for you in this game. You're not rushing into the nether and trying to find an ancient city in the first five minutes. You just take things slow. It's amazing what it can do. Anyways, here's me not even 30 seconds later, back into the mine, stomping around the shulk sensors uh, and triggering the warden again. All with my shiny new diamond gear on. Why is that going off? Okay. Okay, my heart's pounding. Okay, that was... That was easily the most terrifying thing I've ever experienced in Minecraft. I was, uh... I was not a man who enjoyed that. At this point, Shadow had finally logged off. And since I was now the only person on mine, I thought... Ooh, okay, let's go take a little peek. See what he's been up to. See what he's been building. See what's going on over there. But I didn't want to run there on foot, so I tamed a horse. I used the uh, diamond armor that I got for it and you know, rode it. 
I was trying to retrace my steps, and I... I guess I kind of got lost because I did not end up at Shadow's house. No, I actually ended up at it's someone else's house. There are many cows there. Do they have chickens down there? What is going on over here? I looked around to see if there was a door to the base, and uh, I did not find any. Did not find a single door, and so I kind of just oh, <laughs> hopped inside the base there and uh, started started looking around. What is all this? I was a nosy, nosy man, and uh, out of everything I saw, the most interesting thing in this base was the fully upgraded enchanting table. So I thought, hey, what if I, what if I come back here a little bit later on tonight and uh, start enchanting some of my gear? There's no way anyone could know this is a good idea. So I got out of there, got on my horse, and started riding back to my cave. And that's around the time I spotted campfire smoke. And that smoke led me straight to Shadow's massive giant death castle. What is that? Oh no! Someone has a- Stop! Tor, stop! No, I mean don't stop, go! Is there water? I'm gonna- <sighs> I- I don't- I- I've been trying to figure out what to say about this set. I- an Enderman's head popped up at the exact wrong second, okay? You know, result, it resulted in me and my horse plummeting to our- I don't even know what to write about that, so we're just gonna- Anyways, I, uh, started walking across this giant bridge. Shadow's Fort. Are you kidding me? Hey, he's got something to mind in there. A zombie I buried. This is absolute- I'm living in a cave. And this guy has this. He doesn't know it yet, but I'm going to burn this place to the ground. Before I left, I crafted a sign and posted it at the very front of his bridge and wrote, I will see you on purge night. Now remember this moment right here, right? This is, let's come back later. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Where's my horse? When I logged in, I wanted to see who else was online. It was Kim. Kim Kim was online, so I thought, hey, let's go, let's go talk to my man Kim, see what's going on. I'm a man on a horse. Nothing more, nothing less. Driving it fast. Oh my man, look at you with a diamond horse and everything. Yeah. Diamond armor. Diamond sword. Yeah. And diamond pickaxe too. Oh my goodness. Wanna wanna trade it uh, for this pumpkin? Uh no. But we do need to talk about something. Ooh, ooh. What, what are we going to talk about? How are we going to take these guys out? Uh, first, I need to find a, a place to start building. And I don't know where they are. I see it. There's a settlement up there. Is that yours? That's me. Yeah, mine's terrible. It's 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 just a hole in the side of the mountain right now. Okay, so that, that is you. Okay. okay, I, was, okay, I, okay. Have an, I have a bit of a plan, but I need to know that I can trust you. No, you can always trust me. Have I ever failed you? Yes. Will you betray a man like me? <laughs> I'll betray you <laughs> That's enough. not the answer <laughs> I want to hear. A giggle. Have you died uh, more times? Don't worry about that. <laughs> How many hearts do you have? I only have one horse. How many hearts oh, do you have? <laughs> don't, don't worry about that. Am I allowed in? Uh, I'll let you in, just don't look at my chest. Start to think, hey, maybe I don't want to be telling people how many hearts I have. I start looking like an easy target if I start explaining how how weak I am. Kim and I were slowly starting to build trust with one another, and he revealed something to me. He showed me this little hidden villager nearby, and uh, this villager right here, I'm going to tell you right now, plays a massive role later on. This guy is, this guy is crucial. So in return, I showed Kim something. I showed him my uh, spider spawner. I don't know what he's going to do with it, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but when a man shows you something, you got to show him something back, anything you got, so this is what I had to offer him. Kim and I wanted to build close to one another, because on Purge Night, the idea was that if one of us was attacked, the other would come and help. I suggested we pick two cliffs, and each of us could build on one of them, and then we would build a bridge in between so that we could blow up anyone who tried to go for one of us. Uh, that was, yeah, I don't know. So we started looking around for two mountains that were close to one another, but not like right beside each other. And we we're having a tough time finding anything. 
eventually we ended up outside of Shadow's base where I kind of had to, kind of had to act like an idiot. I had never seen this thing before. Oh my god. What are you... Do you see that? Over there? I see some fence. That's all I can see. That's someone's base. Oh wow! I thought those were trees. That is so. That is so That's cool. huge. <laughs> what? Um, see you on purge night. Oh my goodness! Oh. Look at that bridge. <laughs> Have you seen this before? No, oh, no, I haven't. This is wild. You can't cross it. You can cross a bridge. This is, this is... Are you sure you can cross a bridge? You can cross a bridge. Yeah, I, I made the rules. You can cross a bridge. <laughs> There's a gate up here. Look at this. Now, you might be wondering, why did I do that? Well, I didn't completely trust Kim yet. Not enough that in the event that Shadow starts asking people who put the sign there, Kim could say I was with Sean when we found it. So I had uh, plausible deniability. And then hopefully, uh, maybe, he would start to distrust other people. And when people distrust one another, that's when you strike. That's when, that's when they're at their weakest. Eventually, not too far from spawn, we found two cliffs with a river running in between them. So I took one and Kim took the other. We said goodbye and got to work. And yeah, then I would just get up, get up here and uh, start uh, doing something. Then we would we we, could, we will do the bridge uh, yeah, at, later get, at some point. Get a base built. Okay, I'll see you in a few days. Yeah, yeah. Yes, good luck. Good luck. Good luck to you. Watch out for Enderman. Yeah, well. I needed to get building supplies from my cave, but on my way back home, I found uh, someone had buried another villager. So I dug this man out and put him in a boat and relocated him. I got to my cave, bought some supplies, and uh, then I started kind of practicing what I was going to build down below in the valley. So it's, there's a mistake somewhere. Let's figure out where it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a mistake somewhere. See, that ends right where... It doesn't end right where... So one, two, three, four, five, six. Should be at six blocks across. One, two. Oh no, but it's. But as long as they're all the same, it should. I have no idea why this is not making sense. Oh, because I'm doing. I'm an idiot. Sometimes I was doing up, sometimes I was doing over. That's why it'll work. I realized I'm I'm just stupid. I'm just a big stupid idiot because I was both counting wrong and building wrong. Yeah, that was good. So I went back to my house, slept, and in the morning I started bringing back over my building supplies to the new area. But first, before I could build, I had to clear this whole place out. So I started chopping down trees. My plan was to build one big, solid, strong tower. It was a beautiful tower. And when I finally got the area cleared out, I started to build. By the end of the day, I had a significant part of it built, and it was shaping up to look, yeah, honestly, I was kind of, kind of impressed with myself. There was never built this quickly before, and this thing was actually looking pretty decent on the first try. I got a wooden floor built, and uh, you know, I just look at this thing. But in the morning, uh, when I got outside, I, I went from being excited to, I don't know, it just didn't look as good as I thought it would from the outside, so I got to... I'm gonna fix that. So I ran back to my cave and I got more supplies. And on my way back, I lured, eh, I got two cows. I said, come on back, I got a tower being built. I'm gonna need you, come on. So I lured them back and made a small pen and uh, I'm gonna turn these guys to books later. But when I tried to go into the tower, I realized I had not set up any lights and this place was very dark on the inside. And as a result, there was you know, a, lot of, a lot of monsters in there. So I had to climb up from the outside uh, because it's way too dangerous on the inside. My plan to fix the tower was pretty straightforward. I was just going to add more variance in the blocks that I use. So I brought the deep slate over and I made a ton of furnaces and started smelting it down, thinking that I would make different variants of deep slate and just add them to the outside of the tower. But after smelting down a bunch of it, I realized you don't need to do that. You can just, you can just convert deep slate to polished deep slate right in your inventory. There's no... This was just a big waste of time. So as I built up higher, I started to add more 
variety with the blocks that I was placing. And once I got a decent amount of that done, I wanted to change the floors from oak to spruce because I thought the color of spruce just matched this a little bit better. But the thing is that I needed spruce trees to do that. And when I looked out my window to see where I might be able to get some, Kim was burning them down. Oh, Sean? No. It's what are you doing here? Robert. Well, I always said you could come. It's not, it's, it's not gated off. It's tree, it's tree passing. You're not allowed to go to my property without my... Uh... This is a, you're, it's not gated though. There's no gate. How do you even find me? What do you mean how do I find you? You're a name tag. I need to... It looks like you're trying to cut down these trees. Oh yeah. I will do it for you. Oh yeah, go ahead. I need this type of wood, so... Yeah, you take all the wood you need. I, I'm so bored of cutting down trees. Yeah, I saw you were lighting it on fire. I was thinking, no, no, don't do that. I need this. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm done with cutting. <laughs> Get it away. I started chopping some trees down uh, when I re- Look how big Shadow's base was. You can see uh, Shadow's max place. Yeah, I know. Look at that. <laughs> it's crazy. I did not know I was that close. I'm sandwiched after all. <laughs> yeah, you are, but it's okay. I'm not going to attack you. <laughs> I continued to cut wood down until my axe broke, and then I built a simple bridge back across the ravine and went home. The next phase of my plan was all about chickens, okay? A lot of I was gonna need so many chickens, you could barely even believe it. And where am I gonna get all these chickens? I'll tell you. If I, I went right back to my cave, and I had this current chicken farm, which had quite a few chickens in there. So many fact that if you just jumped in for even like a second, you get almost a full inventory of eggs. And I was a man who needed eggs, and needed as many eggs as I could get. My plan was to use these eggs to create a device known as the Chicken Creator 5000, okay? Absolutely beautiful device. It's an automatic chicken farm and oven, all in one device. See, not only does it, it creates the chicken, but then it automatically cooks the chicken and spits it out for you. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. This thing would make it so that I would never have to worry about being hungry ever again. But to make it, I, there was a couple little hoops I would have to jump through. The first of which was, eh, I had to go back to the nether to get nether quartz. And I think, realistically, if you if you were to count every time I go to the nether against every single death, I think I have like a 22% survival chance. Those are not great odds, and I figured I could improve those odds if I went with Kim. So I went over to his base again and asked if he would come with me. After some... Uh, you know, kind of persuade him, I, he agreed, and uh, we went to the nether, and boom, look at this, just like that. Yeah, he got soul sand, and I got nether quartz, so it's very simple. But when we came out of the nether... Hey, Robert! Hey, Robert! Hey, boys! Welcome! Oh my oh. God! Those are my chickens. Robert showed up, and Robert started going on about how he needed to go to the Nether too, and we have to help him. So you know, we went back in, and I just wrote in my script. Things got weird. I have no idea what I meant when I wrote that. All right, what's this? You guys, you guys plotting to kill me or something? All right, take him out. I knew it. <laughs> right, go this way. Oh, look at all the sand. Is these leading to my me to my death, Kim? I think. Uh, me too. I don't know why. I don't even want to be here. I don't want to be here either. I'm scared. Come here, come here. Get away from me. Uh, when we came out, though, th things got even weirder. Don't careful, 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 careful. Run away, run away from the portal. What? Well, they're all staring at us. What is happening? Why are they here? They're here to rob us. <laughs> Where did drop, they come from? Stuff. What? <laughs> Did you do this? Did you tell him to come here? What is happening? Yeah, what they're, is happening? They're robbing us. <laughs> they're not robbing us. Wait, they're just have us at gunpoint. They're not shooting. Kill them. No, you put them here. I, I swear to I God, did, you I put them here. I swear I didn't put them here. What hit are you him. doing? Someone hit him. I don't, Someone hit him. I'm no. scared. They're not... Kim! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they're still on... Oh, now they are. <laughs> With the nether quartz out of the way, the next resource that I was going to need to build this the Chicken Machine 5000 was iron. And yeah, I could have just went and mined some and had this being taken care of, but I thought, you know what, let's you teach a man to get iron once, he's going to have iron forever, so that, that did not make any sense. I wanted to make an iron farm, because inevitably I was going to need more iron in the future as well, so just get, get it all taken care of right now. To make the iron farm was very simple. All I needed was two villagers. Had to bring two villagers over back to my place. And I knew exactly where to get them. Hey, remember that man that I found and I put him in a boat and dug him and relocated him into a hole? Well, I dug that man out and said, come on, it's time to get to work. Let's go. Go this way. Let's go. Over here. Come on, it's here. Hey. Hey. Over here. Oh. Oh. Over here, over here, over here. Come on. No, 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 right here, right here, right here. Right 
right here. Why aren't you going? Yeah, come on. My tower's right there. Where is he? God, you were, you were going somewhere. Night was falling, and uh, I was getting nervous that this man was going to get tagged, so uh, I locked him up in a cement tomb and started to run home, and on my way, I saw something that shocked me. Oh, what is... Okay. I don't know what that is, just going back inside. The following day, I was back outside trying to get this man in my tower. Come on. We're almost there. Where are you going? Come on. Right here. Come on, we're so close. It's here. No, where are you going? Come on, we're at my house. Come here. Come here. Where did you go? Come on, I can hear you. Come back down, come down, come down. What are you doing up here? What are you doing? It's night. What? Where are you going? Stop, come here. Come here, right now, come here. It's, it's night. No. Th this is just getting ridiculous. I lost him. And he's dead, okay. One dead man, so that's... Uh, the iron farm was not gonna happen. That was just out of the question now, so... Looks like I was gonna get iron the old-fashioned way, by mining. So for now, I was gonna put my chicken farm machine on hold, because... Uh, more important things to deal with. I worked on my tower a little bit more, I made this thing much higher, and I added a little balcony around it. And then, Shadow and Laguno had gotten online. It was, it was pretty late, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning or something, I, I don't know what time it was, it felt, it felt like 3 o'clock in the morning. And Laguno said that he wanted to meet up in the village for some reason. I agreed, but first I stopped by my cave and someone had left a note. Hello, neighbor. Who left this here? This told me that uh, Shadow absolutely knew that it was me who left him the note, so that's uh, I'm gonna have to persuade him later that that was not me. But it also told me that he thought this was my base, not the giant tower that I was building. And this was, this was good. Anyways, on to Laguno. So Laguna wanted to, th th this man was crazy, he wanted to kill the Ender Dragon. I'm not gonna kill you, I have a proposal for you actually. Oh, what's that? Um. So, I need to get better gear, yep. because I'm probably, like, the least, the least geared right now. I'm only in iron and stuff and, like, some gold stuff. You definitely need better gear, because you're, like, half health. I wish I was at half health. Oh, no. how bad is it, Sean? <laughs> I'm below half. <laughs> you're below half? I'm, I'm worried I won't make it to the purge at this rate. <laughs> Do you have like three hearts? I have five. You might not be on board with what I'm about to oh suggest. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'll do it. The end cities is a really good way to get like enchanted diamond armor. So we don't have to go through like enchanting and all the other stuff and level 30 and all that other crap. Yeah. Well, we need to beat the dragon. Okay. I can get us to a stronghold. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try. Maybe you want to bring Shadow back? But I had other plans, because I wanted to keep this man out of the end for as long as possible. Like there, I, I didn't want this guy getting it in the Lytra, okay? He also asked if I would promise not to betray him. If we get this gear, does that mean we're like, we're friends and we're not going to try anything during the purge? Is that the plan? Uh, I mean, we can, I can agree not to attack you. Yes, how about just that, just that. Like, I don't need to share everything else, but I just won't attack you directly during the purge. Okay, I agree to that. I suggested that we probably don't want to do this just yet with the two of us, and that maybe getting Shadow would help our odds. So when we met up with Shadow, I first told him, hey, what's, what's going on with that note outside? Someone left one on my door, too. Did you, by the way, Shadow, did you put that sign outside of my house? I did, yeah. The neighbor thing? Yeah. Oh, okay, so that was you. I saw because I saw the one on your doorstep, and I thought someone put it on I, both of ours. I thought it was you. I thought you put it on because I know you're on when I was on this morning. Yeah, no, I was just AFKing by my farm. Oh, okay. No, I didn't. I didn't put it on. Um, I thought, yeah, I thought the same person must have done yours and mine. Uh, and I originally maybe... thought it was Lagundo, but he saw your base for the first time and was reacting. So maybe it was Kim. So then Shadow let us into his fort and. Uh, he had, he had something for me. 
He gave me an enchanted golden apple, which restores one heart of lost health. This, this, this was music to my, well, music, it was a beautiful sight for me. I don't know what I'm saying. This was incredible, but there was a catch. He said that if he gives me this apple, I had to go and do something to Kim. He wasn't specific with what it was. He just wanted me to mess with Kim somehow. And, you know, who am I to say no to messing with Kim? I also noticed that one of his, uh, his light, what's it called? Elytra? No, it's not Elytra. Whatever, the, the floating thing. It had another wart, which was something that I was going to need eventually. Hey, I've seen you. yours, like Give the one that you Give found that. very early on. And then yeah. I think I went east. Yeah. Give me this. yeah. At 1,400 blocks. Yep. Yeah. If you would have just continued going, I think south or whatever direction that was, you would find a jungle like within like 500 blocks. Ah. Oh. Oh. No, drop Sean, it. Drop it. Drop it. Like ghosts. twenty of these guys, and they all drop it. Um, After some careful uh, manipul uh, persuasion, uh, we were able to convince Laguno that hey, no, let's not let's skip the Ender Dragon. Let's go. Let's go to an ancient city instead. But to do that, we we're gonna need wool and uh, a ton of wool. Lucky for us, Shadow knew exactly where we could get some. He had just recently cleared out a woodland mansion, and there was tons of wool there. But before we left, Laguno needed to go run back to his house to drop some stuff off, so yeah, sh once he left, I told Shadow my plan. So you're gonna kill Laguno? Am I gonna kill him? Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna like, at, at the man. purge? Yeah. I don't know, I... He's, he's gonna be tough, I know that. He is gonna. That's why we can't let him get any of the loot of the ancient city. Oh yeah, that's right. We just we gotta, have to. We have to be like, ah, oh, no, there's nothing in this chest. And we'll leave a little bit, but just give him like hose and like bad <sighs> chance and stuff. Yeah, we'll do that. That's a good idea. Because once he starts flying, ugh, yeah. I'm gonna have to like build something underground so he'll have to, he'll have to come to me. That's when he first told me about the dragon. He's like, yeah, as long as long as I get the elytra, I just need to go, let's go look. Let's go look for the. Let's go to find it. He's like, you don't want the elytra, do you? I'm like, no, I, I don't know how to use it. He's like, good, good, good. I need that. If we can just get me an elytra. And then, like, <laughs> we can't let him get the elytra. That's why I don't want it to be. Yeah, because I'll, I'll never get him. Yeah. Once everyone was ready, we got in our boats and set sail. I was just looking to see if there was a door. Where? On the big deep slate tower over there. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure. I wonder if that's Robert's house. It must be, because you're saying everybody else is accounted for and I haven't built my place yet. Yeah, that's Robert's done. Ooh, who's that? Oh yeah, that must Robert. be Robert. That's new. We sailed for an extremely long time, and I was starting to think that Shadow had absolutely no idea where this was going. One with a very lost man. And we ended up sleeping in a village after a long day of sailing. The next day we were back to sail and sailing more, more, more. And the thing was is that I was starting to uh I was starting to have I was, just, I was getting conflicted about having to betray these guys later. I was having fun sailing around with them and I was thinking, ah, I'm gonna have to... I'm lying to these guys, acting like I'm not gonna kill them. It's kind of getting hard. Eventually we found the mansion and uh, they got all the wool they wanted and I got dark oak logs thinking that this was something that I was gonna want to use on my tower eventually. And I also got some saplings and a ton of books, which will, would come in handy later. And then we left and inevitably got lost again. I don't know where we're going to follow you. Okay. I don't think that guy knows where he's going. Eventually, we found our way back, to, and then uh, not, not wasn't a straight shot. We ended up on the other side of a mountain, and Shadow and I dared each other to try to run across the mountain peak, which was just littered with powdered snow. If you get stuck, I'll, I'll, I'll dig you out. The village is here. It's right here. Oh! Uh, it's frozen. We had like, I don't know how much wool we had, probably like 100 stacks. Of it. We were, we were, with all this ready, we were finally prepared to take on the ancient city. And I, I, I'm going to be honest, it was like 3.30 in the morning, maybe 4 o'clock in the morning. I don't know what time it was. It was very late. And I didn't want to spend another few hours digging around a mountain looking for this thing. So I, before we made this world, I used a seed. So I just you know, I went on the website and just looked at the coordinates. And sure enough, that mountain that I was originally in, the ancient city was in there. Before we left, we invited Sneeve, which <laughs> kind of didn't end up working out for him later on. You'll find out why. Uh, and we we left. Together, we walked right past Robert's tower. There's a huge crack, by the way. Huge divot here. Wait, where? Uh, I think if we go to the right here. Towards Robert's house. And we found the mouth of a cave that would lead us in. We started descending until we found the coordinates uh, around where it should be. Then we started digging down. There you go, oh, that's Luna. useful. Coming down. 
No, don't drown me. Stop oh. drowning me. Oh, that's a, that's Stop drowning me. Drown him. Hold him down. Oh. Out. Oh, God, we're all... Stop drowning me. Oh, no, we're all in a little... <laughs> okay, we should really block over our heads before a creeper drops into this hole and kills us. Yeah. Shadow, get down there's, here. There's the plan. Don't get hit by uh, skeletons. Hold on, hold on. Are you guys just getting freaked out? Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's water at the bottom if you want to drop Deep down. Strat. <laughs> Did you trust this Can man? You <laughs> Can you see the name tag? Alright, come on down. Like, this isn't where we need to go, but this is still pretty. <gasps> no sni- <laughs> There's no water at the bottom. What are you talking about? I picked about? it up once you flooded the whole tunnel! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I picked it up once you flooded the whole tunnel! <laughs> He just... Oh no! I just killed him. You just killed a man. No. You killed a man. No, you just killed a man. You just slaughtered him. This is around the time and it's absolutely perfect timing for my computer to start just going buck nutty. I was getting blue screen after blue screen after blue screen, so a lot of the recording here is kind of disconjointed. So I, I just I'm gonna have to kind of tell you what happened. And I don't know how much actually got recorded. We got down to straight right above the ancient city. We were like one block above it. And the plan was to pour a little bit of water down and then slowly, very slowly, swim down and creep around and place down wool at very strategic locations. But what had happened was, yeah, I, I don't know what had happened because my computer blue screened. But when I logged back in, Lagundo and Chatamek were already down there. So I swam down the thing and slowly creeped over to where they were, and then I blue screened again. Uh, then when I logged back in, uh, they had looted it. So that's that's good. But the good news is that Shadow presented me with something. It said, I found something that a man like you might be interested in. Oh, what's that? <gasps> oh. Oh, may it please have it. May it please. We can make a deal, and so since we got a witness here, yeah. and you... F so and you, you got and you, you've also put us on Warden Watch at this point. If we trigger yeah. one again, it's something... I I can give this to you, but I need you to do something to Kim. What do you want? Something that will mess him up. I don't know what his his fort looks like, mm -hmm. but like release his animals or set fire to something. Okay, I will. I'll, I'll leave that to you. I will. And not only that, but I was able to loot one of the chests, which had a shulk sensor. And then my computer blue screen again, which is absolutely perfect. And when I logged back in for the, like the fifth time, all I heard was Laguno say, "We have to leave now." Sean, it's time to go. Okay. Sean, it's time to go. How do I go? How do I go? Up the water. Let's run. Let's run to it? No, run, run away. It's coming, Laguno. Uh, that's not going to help us. That's not going to help us. We need to be going up. Up, 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 up. Sean, you got to move. I can't. I can't. Start digging up. What? Start digging up. Up. Oh, Sean, you logged in at the worst possible time. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what? That's a good idea. Laguno and I barely, just barely made it out of that cave. We ended up cowering in the in the dark for like 10 minutes. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. I'm underwater. Don't move. Just... Is it gone? Nope. The heartbeat will stop. Slowing down. Shadow got got got. They and all it. his stuff is sitting there. And I want it. Oh my god. John, I'm going up. Okay. Shadow stuff is not worth dying for. Eventually, after for if it felt like a, a year, the warden despawned and we climbed out of that cave. Laguna was using some water bucket technique to go straight up, and I had absolutely no idea what this man was doing, and I just kept falling, and it was, start it was stressing me out big time. But we made it out. We made it to the this gem area, and he said he wanted to do a few more things, and I said, There's, I'm not doing anything else. So I climbed out got, and just got out of there and went straight home. I logged back in Friday morning, and I was ready to get to work on my tower, and uh, Kim and Shadow were the only ones online. I wanted to see if my farm had grown, and I wrote in my script, sure enough, it had, but I've watched the footage, it hadn't. I don't know why I wrote it had. It, it was a, it, nothing had grown. Whoa, here we go. 
There we go. All right, I even, look, I even wrote I harvested everything I could. But what did I harvest? Was it just making stuff up? I don't know. My plan for this farm was to eventually phase out the wheat and phase in carrots because I wanted to make a bunch of golden carrots that I could eat on purge night because I read that those are the most powerful food you can eat. And I, I needed every advantage I could. But right now the priority was getting an enchanting table built. I need one of these things badly. Ab absolutely crucial to get this thing built as fast as possible. But first, I had to uphold my end of the deal with Shadow. So I went over to Kim's base and uh, checked to see if he was there. Morning, Kim. Hello, Kim. Kimberly. Kimberly. And yet again, I did a little bit of trespassing and uh, went into Kim's mine and started to look around. At the bottom, there was a door, and I didn't want to open it. I wasn't at the level that I was ready to open doors, uh, which. So I just kept looking around and followed a bunch of tunnels, and eventually I found a hallway which led to what was behind that door, and I discovered Kim had set up a mob spawn or another. Hey, this, this, can you, look at this. My promise to Shadow has been completed. I'm going to be honest, I don't know why I just put a torch down. I thought that the way this machine that he had built worked was he would come back to it later and expect there to be a bunch of experience, and because I put a torch down, it... I, I, I don't know. I had no idea what I was doing, all right? Okay, enchanting table time. No more doing whatever this was. So I ran over to my cave to grab the uh, books that I got from the, uh, the mansion and uh, brought them back to my tower. I also brought some bamboo with me that Lagundo had given me as a... I don't know, like a tribute or something. Which is good, because this bamboo is also going to be crucial for one of the, uh, phases of my plan, so this was actually kind of perfect. And I also brought obsidian, but not just two. No, I, I got 21 obsidian, because I figured I was going to build a panic room at some point, and it's good just to have this stuff on hand, so I brought that with me. When I got back to my tower, I built the enchanting table. I placed it down on one side of the tower, and then I built a ton of bookshelves. I wanted to arrange these things nicely so that it wasn't just a typical C around the table, and I tried stacking them up against the wall behind it and just kind of hoped that worked. I also didn't want my chests to be just all over the floor like they usually were, so I made a shelving system for them, and uh, yeah, this actually ended up looking pretty good. Hey, look at this. Look at all the shelves on the wall there. The next thing I needed to do was, uh, I went downstairs and I planted the bamboo. And lastly, I, that bamboo, I, I planted it downstairs in my farm. Got this thing nice and got it, got it growing. My floorboards were still bugging me, I really didn't like the look of them, so... I wanted to try using that dark oak that I got, so I, I cut down a bunch of them and started replacing them. And, uh, you know, after I finished doing that, I kinda... Oh, I wasn't actually sure if I liked the look of it. I don't know what suits it better. This dark oak, or... The spruce. I think the spruce might look... Man doesn't know what to do. My enchanting table was currently useless because I had... I don't think I had that much XP and I needed to get to level 30. And I wasn't going to risk losing more hearts by fighting the ender dragon or killing mobs every night. So it was finally time to build... One of the biggest projects that I undertook in this. An XP farm. I was following a guide by Cubix Creations, a YouTube video. He promised that it was very easy and simple to build, and I love those two words, easy and simple. Perfect for a man like me. But to do this thing, I was going to need a few things. I need 11 stacks of solid wood, 13.5 uh, stacks of slabs, 48 trapdoors, 16 stairs, 2 water buckets, 4 ladders, 4 hoppers, 4 chests, and 128 scaffolding. I'm sounding like I'm doing like a raid sponsor. Yeah, like a 32 gems and we download. I, I shouldn't do that. I'm not going to lose sponsors. Anyway, so the first thing I wanted to build was the scaffolding. Bamboo, taken care of. I had a ton of that thanks to my man Lagundo. He had no idea the damage he did by giving me that, that, that little bit of bamboo. It's crazy with a butterfly effect. Give a man bamboo, he makes a giant farm and gets a ton. I'm getting ahead of myself here. I needed string, so I thought, hey, where, where can a man get string? Before I knew it, I was. You remember that spider spawner I found? Finally coming in handy. Man, some spiders. Nothing more, nothing less. After spending some time down there mucking around with the spiders, I, uh, I came home and got my scaffolding built. Next was the wood. I, I was going to need so much wood. And there was no way I was doing this by hand, or at least not without any enchants. So I enchant- I did some basic enchants on an iron axe. But when I put my axe into the enchanting table, I saw that it wasn't getting max levels. So I tried moving the bookshelves around.
well. Okay. I got to be the only man on YouTube who can kill themselves while moving bookshelves in their house. I figured it was time to take a, take a little break, so I logged off for a bit. When I logged back in later that night, the only person online was Robert, and almost immediately he wanted to make a trade. Robert wanted 33 emeralds in exchange for one piece of netherite. Ooh, when a deal like that, you absolutely cannot say no. The only problem was, was that I didn't have a single emerald. But you know what? I had a plan to get them. Okay, grab a piece of paper and some, and take some notes. Because you're, you're all about to get a degree in business, my mans. This is, this is how you make a deal. I told Robert I needed some time to get the emeralds. Two days, in fact. Two, 48 hours, you got your emeralds. In-game days, not real. Anyway, so uh, he also asked for blaze rods. And I told him that I didn't have any. However, I could provide him with information that would lead him to getting the blaze rods. But it would cost him. Oh, 64 iron for that info. You gotta, you gotta pay up. And he agreed. The deal was now 33 emeralds and information on where to get blaze rods in exchange for 64 iron and one netherite. But you know what? My plan was to get even more from Robert. Just, just watch, okay? First, I needed the emeralds. So I ran back to my cave and just, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was hoping the guy, the guy was still there. Without that villager, if, that, if someone had taken that villager, if the villager was dead, if it wasn't, none of this would work. It was very crucial. And sure enough, when I got there, this man was alive and well, feeling doing well down there. I immediately converted him into a Fletcher. I repeated this until he offered me a trade, which was six for emeralds. Once I had that, I went back out, grabbed a ton of the wood that I had been harvesting for my XP farm, which is probably a mistake. I don't know. And I converted it all into sticks and started selling as many sticks as I could to this guy. Uh, but he eventually sold out before I got to 33 emeralds. The next day I returned with more wood and you know what? It's, Somehow managed to almost die doing this. Oh! Okay. With that out of the way, I kept trading, and eventually, eventually, I got to 34 emeralds. At this point, I told Robert to meet me at my favorite place to meet anyone, at Kim's house. Of course, Kim wasn't home, and he didn't have his permission. This was technically trespassing, but you know what? What Kim doesn't know won't hurt him. The deal was set to move forward. I had the 34 emeralds, and I had the information. I was about to get one netherite and 64 iron. But little did Robert know, my plan was to not only get one netherite, but two. How about this? You give me one more netherite brick, and I will show you how to get unlimited emeralds and unlimited arrows and a ton of free XP. See, I don't need it. I, I already uh, already have the free XP. I got the unlimited arrows. Oh, is that, do you have infinity on the bow? Of course. Oh, you know, that's not a good choice. You know why? Because that takes up a very precious enchant slot. Like what? You can have, uh, you can have other power, like knockback, power four, flaming. This has power four, flame punch to infinity. Okay, well, I can get you unlimited arrows. <laughs> or sorry, unlimited emeralds. Yeah, yeah, so how you, how you do that? Well, one netherite brick, and it's yours. I don't have any other netherite. Okay, you, you know, know how fucking hard it is to get netherite? Yes, okay, fine, give me... Give me uh, just give me something, I'll tell you. Anything. I'll give you, uh, I'll give you this iron, how about that? Okay. One extra thing, because I'm going to show you where the, where the fortress is. Okay, there we go. Oh, beautiful. That I will take. Okay, so there we go. That's, that's business right there. That's business right there. So I showed Robert the fortress in the nether. You go down here. You see how it climbs out to that nether portal? Yeah. You jump on that nether portal. You go to the right side of it towards where that magma is. Crawl down. There's a path. It brings okay. you down to that lower platform where that like soul fire is. And then you walk. Just build a short little bridge to that red netherrack or netherite whatever yeah i see it with the torches on it yeah then you crawl down there's a path and it brings you out to that beach where that long thing is and you walk straight across there uh then once you get to the oh, fortress I see a path. yeah you there, robert oh, i thought you're pushing me what up. what, what? Uh, um, i didn't touch i wasn't even near you um after that i used the netherite ingot to craft a chess piece this was the very first time that i had ever made anything with netherite and you know what i was i was feeling good there it is. There it is. All right, with that out of the way, it was time to get back to work on building my XP farm. Getting all that iron from Robert was, it was very useful because I was going to need it for the XP farm. It's specifically building the hoppers and I think something else, but I can't remember because I had absolutely no, I, I had nothing. I was a man without iron. 
So the last thing I needed for this farm was just a lot more wood, and because I had used so much of the wood that I had already harvested on the trade with Robert, it was- I was pretty much back to square one and cutting down trees and getting wood. So then I got to work and I, I cut down trees for like an hour. I was just chopping down every tree in sight. And eventually, I had enough. And I built all of the little bits and bobs that I needed. I built all the staircases, I built all the trap doors, I built all the slabs. I had everything I needed to build this XP farm. This is also around the time that I uh, switched my shaders from uh, Sonic Ethers shaders to the complimentary reimagined one because I kind of just like the look of them more, and you know what? Is it weird to do this midway through a video? I don't know, but you know what? I'm doing it, so it's done. I guess I should have probably waited to make that trade with Robert, because uh, next time I saw him, he had... Uh, this man had a ton of netherite gear now. And now he was offering me another trick. He wanted to sell me a mending book for the low cost of 20 emeralds, which, I mean, he could have easily gotten himself, but uh, I think he was just... I think he was just kind of being nice to me. Regardless, I said, you know what? You got a deal. With that done, it was time to finally, finally build this XP farm. I've never built anything like this before, and uh, I've never built up this high before. I'll just tell you right now, going up that high, I was, I was sweating. My hands were sweating on the mouse. It was not good. I was, I was terrified. Okay. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster right now. Getting, getting real nervous. Still going up. Okay, getting real high up here. Ooh. Oh, okay. Ooh. 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 I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I was just trying to follow the guide on how to build this thing, and it was now around 4 o'clock in the morning, and I was 128 blocks above the surface, barely, barely keeping my eyes open, and I was making mistake after mistake trying to build this, this thing. So the first phase was to build this AFK chamber. This is where I'll sit and uh, collect all the XP and loot and stuff. I needed to put down two double chests, which, you know, it ended up being even more difficult than it should be. Oh. Then I put hoppers on top of those chests and then slabs on top of the hoppers. This is where the mobs are going to fall down to. And for them to fall down here, they got to fall from somewhere, which meant building up even further. So I made this thing higher. This is just sad. Look at, look at this. Next was the canals that the mobs would fall into and be carried by water to drop in the pit. These went about seven blocks or so back out of the four side of the drop zone. But you know what? By this point, I was getting, I was getting way too tired for this. I was falling asleep, so I climbed back down and built a janky wall around the entrance to the farm. And to make sure no one wanted to go well, trespass inside, I put up signs warning anyone who entered that they would... It was a warning. I told them they'd be cursed if they went in there. Someone's gonna see that and go, Sean building a helicopter. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Hey, Saturday, I did not play at all. I went airsofting instead. And uh, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity. I got an airsoft channel. Go go subscribe to that. I got a link to it in the description. So it's good. Hey! Back online, a refreshed and recharged man, a man ready to continue work on his XP farm. The next phase of building was to get the water canals built. Now, these things were the things that would, the mobs would fall into this and then get swept away by the water into the death pit. I already had the floor done, so now I needed to add the perimeter wall around them. Uh, I made it two blocks high and then I had to do that for every single canal. Next, I poured water at the end of each one, and since I was following the guide correctly, it worked perfectly, and the water stopped flowing right at the drop. After that, I had to make this thing one giant platform, so I had to fill it all in. To do that, I used slabs. Uh, lots and lots of slabs. At first, I was thinking, oh, do I want to use slabs? I thought mobs don't spawn on slabs. But it turns out they will spawn it if it's the top half of the block, all right? So it's going to be fine. No, no, no need to leave a comment saying the farm won't work, because you know what? You're going to see that it... Actually, you know what? Go ahead. Yeah, leave a comment saying it won't work. And then just keep watching the video, okay? There'll be a man leaving another comment saying, Whoa, can't believe I was wrong. I absolutely cannot. The slabs... What am I saying right now? The next step was making it so that the mobs would actually walk into the water. And to do that, you can put down trap doors. If you put a trap door down and then and lower it, those stupid idiot mobs just walk right over it thinking there's something there. Think it's done? Wrong. No, not even close to being done. Now I need to stop spiders from spawning here because they'll clog this whole thing up. So 
I added even more trapdoors in, in very in a very specific pattern that I repeatedly messed up and had a very tough time following despite it being very simple. Why won't spiders spawn when you put these things down? I, I have no idea. I guess they don't like the pattern or something. Who knows? And just as I thought I was finally done building this thing, the guy told me to do it all again on the floor above, so... It's just a lot of work. I needed a break from um, building, so I, I took a stroll over to my good friend Kim's house and yet again trespassed on his land. Not only that, but I went right up into his tower and I guess he was AFK because he was just sitting there. With that out of the way, I went back to my farm and yeah, finished the second layer. Okay. So, uh... Robert just beat the game? I climbed back down and went into the AFK chamber and waited for this thing to start working. But nothing was spawning, and I started to... Started to get a little bit worried about those slabs that in the video the guy insisted wouldn't be a problem. He said, no way, don't worry about the slabs. It's going to be, going to be absolutely fine. He also said that the farm would be super fast and easy to make. It, my man, this, this thing was not fast to make at all. It was, this was incredibly difficult for me, okay? I was a man who was worked to the bone trying to get this thing built. And now it looked like it wasn't even working. So I climbed down back. I wanted to get to my tower to maybe reset it. I, I can't believe how stupid I am. Hey, so I don't even know what to say about that death besides... You know, I don't know, let's just move on. I went back up to the farm and for some reason I guess it reset because now this thing was working. It was working good. Hey! My first guest. So here's how it works. The mobs fall and then you just hit them with your sword. It's, it's a pretty, pretty good system. So I sat there for a while until I had like 53 levels of experience. And, and better than that, the, the chests that were below, were, they were full of loot. 90% of it was just absolute garbage, but there was a ton, absolute ton of gunpowder in these chests. And I, whew, for what I was planning, I was going to need a lot of gunpowder. With the enchanting table built and my XP farm up and running, the next thing I needed to do was get lapis. So I went mining. But while I was doing that, I started to watch a guide on enchanting because honestly, I kind of no idea how enchanting works in this game. I realized that my bookcases were more than likely set up wrong, and I'm sure, I'm sure some of you already knew that. And I fixed it, and I ended up with the standard enchanting table layout that I was trying to avoid. I guess it doesn't matter. It was all working. I still need to lapis though, so I went and over and asked my good my good friend, my good neighbor, my friendly neighbor Kim, asking if he had any and, uh, lapis. Hey, you guys! Hey! Yeah, I didn't uh, say come in. Hey! Hey! Th 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 no, Sean! No! 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 No, 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 no! I kill you! I kill you for that! What? You will die for that! There's no you know that go in here! You can't kill me. Listening? You still, you still don't have a door. No, no, but you know, it is a door! It, it is! You're not allowed! <laughs> There's no <laughs> door! <laughs> Hey, this is this, this is a opening. This so wait, you, you need, this a, you need to put walls all around this whole island. Yeah, I will do that. I have to do that now because we do. I'm not gonna do anything to you. You're in my alliance. Yeah, I know, I know. I just said uh, because uh, you, you freak out at me and I freak out at you. Oh, no, look what you did. Kim didn't have any, so I thought, okay, maybe I got some in a chest in my old cave. Let's go back over there. So I went to the cave, went through my chest. There was nothing. But when I came out of my cave, oh, look at this. Robert was standing around. I need lapis. And you need some lapis? Here, I got some lapis for you. You truly do? Whoa! Where's your... Oh! You have the elytra even. Oh, thank you. Wow. A generous man. Yeah, yeah. yeah you you done... let me know what you need. Hey, you see Kim lately? Hey, thank you. See you later. Robert and I went back to my tower and then went over to Kim's base to discuss our plans for purge night. That is a door. If I go across the bridge? Okay, I won't go across the bridge. <laughs> I'll do it too. <laughs> oh, wait. You idiots. He's making the walls now. <laughs> yeah, you jump over the walls right here. Look at this. No, it's a wall castle look, the, barrier. Look, look what he's doing. You're just ruining <laughs> my farm. <laughs> no, I harvested for you. And you did not replant. Oh, the picnics are really... 
something. Oh, do you? No, you don't. Ah, it's gonna be in a... Come Good in here. Time, indeed. Let's discuss. Everyone up. Is this central command? Yes. How did it go so <laughs> fast? Magma. Soul sand. Okay. Soul I'm... sand underwater goes up? <gasps> you. <laughs> How do I get to the second level? <laughs> I need my I stuff back. Water, you have water bucket on you? A bucket no, I don't. I don't have anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, this was getting. I, I don't even. I gave Robert 120 gunpowder for that as a kind of a thank you because, yeah, I, I don't know. I, so I went back to my tower to recuperate my lost XP. After spending a moderate amount of time in my XP farm, I yet again trespass onto Kim's property to use his anvil. Yeah, uh, here we are. Kim thing. I used the mending book on my pickaxe. I never know what to put this enchanting on. I just remembered I used it on something in our craft and everyone freaked out on me. Started saying I was, I was crazy, so I, I don't know, I'm just using on whatever now. After that, I went back to my farm for yet again, more XP farming. Oh, look at that, level 41 again. <laughs> Pretty good. At this point, you may be wondering if I've been sitting here and manually hacking away at these mobs, or if I've been using some sort of a <clears throat> help with a some sort of crazy program that clicks my mouse for me every like uh, 15 seconds. No, my, uh, my dog's doing it, okay? Oh. You know what, I'll tell you right now, I've got absolutely no issue with me doing this, or anyone else on the server doing this. Cause, uh, you know what, it's moving on. Anyways, an arrow came flying through my window. And when I looked to see who it was, it was, it was Kim. He was, this man was up to something, so I thought, you know, what if I started aggressively expanding uh, my tower towards his base? Hey. Hey. Wait. Are you coming closer to me right now? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Why are you building a second bridge? What is going on? Oh, no, no. This is not a bridge. This is the my planned expansion for my tower. <laughs> I have walls now. It, I, I know. I see your walls. I'm going to... I'm, I'm, I'm above them. <laughs> you can't go above them. No, I'm, I'm not above them. Sorry, I'm like... Uh, this is this is where my tower is being built to. It's gonna be close. Ooh. I gotta. Shoot. No, no! Stop shooting my cows! I have so few left. <laughs> yeah, so few. I had no plans on actually expanding my tower in that direction, but you know, I was trying to get them all stressed out, and it worked because he came over all worried. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta let me know what you're doing. I told you what I'm doing. <laughs> You're, you're making things way di more difficult for me, like, I'm getting trust issues. Don't get trust issues, just believe me, it's fine. No, I feel like this is a preparation for Persianite, an easy way, a quick way to get rid of me. <laughs> Kim, Kim, <laughs> I wouldn't have told you about my main plan if I was going to attack you on Persianite. I can't survive I don't know. without you. I don't know, I think, I think uh, you telling me it doesn't really matter if I'm dead right away. You won't be dead right away, prom I promise you. Okay, hey, on to the next phase of my plan. I needed to clear this whole area out to make a big giant field opening around my base, but there was no way I was doing this without enchanted tools. The first one was my pickaxe, uh, I needed to upgrade it more, and to do that I needed more lapis. Thankfully Robert traded me even more and uh, another mending book for 120 gunpowder again. I couldn't think of a better place to use that mending book than over at Kim's Kim's good old anvil. I have an anvil on me I can drop for you at your oh. house. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it after. I just want to use Kim's. <laughs> you might as well get good all you said of it. Shortly after that, Robert gave me a tour of his base. There it is. Holy crap. Wow. Whoa. Wow. This is crazy. Oh, you're just going through my chest, huh? Yeah, sorry, I just need to see something. Wow. 
Okay. I think at this point, it, it's safe to say that Robert, Kim, and I were fully in an alliance. Although, it was tough because I had promised Lagundo that I wasn't going to attack him. And I didn't want to attack Shadow because he had helped me so much. And Sneeve... Who's going to attack a guy named Sneeve? So with everyone off limits, I thought, hmm, okay, you know what? I can attack everyone, because if everyone's off limits, that means everyone's on limits. So, uh, the mind of a man is a dangerous place. And speaking of Lagundo, on my way back from Robert's base, I, I finally saw his ice cream cone of a base. There it is. Lagundo's house. Why, why is he gotta be so close to me? When I got back, I went straight up into the farm for some good old-fashioned farming. And by... Farming, I mean, my dog, the Dasha, I spent a long time up there and I walked away with 50 plus levels again in a dump truck full of gunpowder. I wasted very little time wasting all those levels on random enchants that I just assumed were good. Okay, look at this. Looting 3, Mending Sweeping Edge 3. Unbreaking 3, Power 4, Punch 2, Flame. Efficiency 5, Mending. They don't don't look at that one. Efficiency four. Uh, protection four. Protection four. Protection four. And uh, don't look at that. One of my favorite enchants was the stuff I got on the shovel. Just, just a look how fast this thing shreds dirt. Look at this. I just delete dirt. It's like a bulldozer in it. It works so well that it crashed my game. And then when I got back online, it, it was. Sh it destroyed itself. It was too powerful. Was, was the durability bar was shooting down. I didn't want to lose this thing, so uh, I went back into the mine to do some more mining. Needed, needed diamonds. Oh, okay. Look at this. Here we go. That's, uh... Okay. Don't, I don't know what to do in that situation. <laughs> So while I was learning about enchanting, I learned that gold is the most enchantable material. So I thought, okay, good. I'll, I'll get a gold pickaxe and get fortune three on it. Then I'll use that pickaxe specifically for when I find diamonds. Because otherwise it's just going to break immediately. But if I use it just for diamonds, oh, this is going to be a very powerful tool. So I did that. And when I found diamonds and tried to use it, it, it didn't work. I thought, I thought the server lagged, but I realized... I'm an idiot. You can't mine diamonds with gold. I don't know how I didn't know that. So I, I switched to my diamond pickaxe, mine the diamonds, and realized, oh, okay, this is right next to an ancient city. This is... I got two alerts from the warden, so I ran. Now, you might think that I'm an idiot because it, with the golden pickaxing, but what if I told you that this was, um, <clears throat> like, a, intentional or something like that? Because let's say I never used the gold pickaxe, I would have been dead. Let me explain. If I had used the gold, the regular pickaxe on those diamonds, it would have created uh, two triggers for the warden. I would have not even realized that, and I would have mined the second one because I would have been greedy. And that would have been four triggers, and the warden would have came storming down after me, and I would be one dead man. So by make, by, by being an idiot, I became the smartest man alive. There it is. There it is. I need to say no more about that. So I mined in the other direction, got more diamonds, and I finally completed my full diamond set by making diamond boots. Monday, good old Monday. They say get up and get going on Monday. So after a good, <laughs> after a good solid farm session, I was uh, level forty-five and had nearly a double chest full of gunpowder. And a man like me is uh, can do a lot with that. The next thing I was going to need was a uh, redstone, a ton of redstone. I normally end up with a ton of this stuff in my chest, anyways. But for some reason this time I didn't, I didn't have it. Um, so I don't know. So I went mining and started filling my bags with it. After getting a decent amount, I met up with Kim briefly. Uh, Laguna was there, so I had to kind of try to make it look like Kim and I weren't working. I, I was just I went a little bit nutty to make it seem. Uh, you, you'll see what I mean. Okay, this is one <laughs> certified <laughs> attempt. John, you are not allowed to be here. You are not. You are trespassing on my ground. <laughs> he's just oh trying, he's trying to steal your boat. <laughs> he's not allowed. He's breaking so many rules right now. This is, <laughs> I can't believe this. Liguno! <laughs> do something with this. No! <laughs> I like them grown. <laughs> you're, you're breaking the rules. <laughs> That's my you already killed the wolf of mine and now you're kidnapping one? Look at that guy. He's so. He's out. That purge is 
Det blir ja, soon, but not now. Soon, but it's not. Nice. Making, making me go. You know, making me go buck nutty. There's no. <laughs> there's no pre pur. There's not like Purge's Eve. It's it's Purge's Eve actually. I just I realized it is actually Purge's Eve. I have a door. No, Sean, you're not allowed inside! It's not... <laughs> I don't... There, now it's locked. Can't my heavier anvil. Can't my heavier anvil. Uh, by the way. Oh, oh, yeah, I just took it. Oh, yeah. No, that's my favorite tree! <laughs> I can hear him not only breathing heavy, but the every keyboard click as he runs off. What are you doing? What do you mean, what I mean? Are you working you with him? <laughs> no, he just came just now. Okay. I never seen that guy. Yeah, but you're making me now. You're making me paranoid. No, it's that, no, no. He knows like me and you are not like cool because okay. you come here and uh, I don't know, broke break my piece. Good, that's all performance. <laughs> I know it's not, but it was a good performance that <laughs> way. <laughs> One of the biggest challenges I was gonna face on Purge Night was the, the fact that I was I had about as much health as a cow right now. And uh, that's not, I mean, to be honest, that's not quite ideal. So I needed to fix that. Robert told me about a little secret that he had found out. He said that if you kill the Ender Dragon, you can get all of your hearts back. Uh, the problem with that was, you know, I mean, look how many hearts I have. Now think about all the ways I've died so far. Uh, Endermen have killed me. There's like a million of them in, in the end. Uh, I've died falling off stuff. I, I've died, I've died every possible, if, I, I do a bookshelf. You think I'm gonna go to the end and survive that right now? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But I am not a man who gives up or doesn't at least try. So uh, Robert and I went to the Nether to start getting supplies because you know what? I'm taking down the Ender Dragon. Because I, I came up when he was in here. I, he like went to the Nether, this Nether Fortress the first time yesterday. Yeah. So I went and <gasps> found him. Robert, come back. Okay, that that one, that was probably All of my stuff burned up in the lava. My beautiful, beautiful bow. My netherite chest piece. My diamond pick, my shell, everything I had burned up to a crisp. And worst of all, I had even, I had one less heart now. This purge was gonna, I don't even know what to say about this. But when a man gets desperate is when a man, I've said this before, a man thinks the best, all right? And my brain was going a mile a minute at this point. I came up with a new plan called The Begging Man, okay? In our Discord, I posted a screenshot of my three lonely hearts and said, I'm a man who's down to his last three hearts. A man who's a man who could die at any moment or something like that. The idea was to A, make them think that I'm very weak and B, get them to give me some golden apples, okay? Because if you get to max health and you eat a golden apple, you can go above max health. So if I beat the end and then I got a bunch of people to give me golden apples, whoa, I could be a man with many, 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 many hearts and they would have no idea. This was truly the best move I could do. So first Robert gave me some of his old gear and luckily it was diamond and enchanted. So that's yeah, pretty good. Thank you, Robert. That's a wise man. I forgive you for your criminal past. Thank you for Second thing, I went to Kim's farm and I treated it like McDonald's drive through That's beef. Uh, third, I made a ton of glass while Robert did all the hard work getting gas tiers and ender pearls and you know, stuff. So I, I was just a man who was making gas. Fourth, we hit the road towards the stronghold. Robert knew roughly where it was because he had already done this and beaten the game already. He was a man who was way ahead of me, uh, but I confirmed it with coordinates. You know what? I, I don't care if that counts as cheating because Robert had already been here and had done this and I, could, I had three hearts, okay? Yeah, it doesn't matter. The problem we were facing was that Lagundo knew about the end ender dragon trick. He had presumably done it himself and he was currently offline. And I wanted to get this done before he logged in because I didn't want this guy knowing that I was full health now. Uh, so we were kind of rushing to do this as fast as possible. It took us two in-game days, but we made it to the mangrove where the entrance of the stronghold was. We knew this was the right area because there was a leftover crafting table and a hole from someone else just going straight into the earth. All right, uh, I'll see you down there. I hate doing this, I hate doing this, I hate doing this. I hate doing this, I hate doing this, I hate doing this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I hate that. Who ducked down right here? Oh! 
I was one scared man going down in random holes like that with three hearts and basically everything I had on my back, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do to survive. But when we got down there into the cave, we looked around a little bit and we found the stronghold. We climbed into it and started looking for the portal and it wasn't that hard to find because whoever was here before had left torches, which sort of just led us straight to it. With that, Robert and I went in and fought the dragon. Robert? Not one of them's mad at me. They're mad at me, I think. Okay. So I'm gonna start flying around and destroying everything. Yeah, take him out. I'll stay here. There's some purple stuff up there. Be careful. Oh! It's just he's flying around like a madman. Ah! What are you doing? Use a bet on him. Sean, get out here. I don't want to oh, die. I, I, we... Oh, there he is. There's the beast. You think he's not coming down because the egg's still on top of it? Yeah, maybe. Don't mind it. The egg, the egg has been moved. He's coming down. Okay. Hit him. What a hit. He's scary. Oh! Oh, that was a horrible design. I'm lagging. Noise. Can you hear me? Yeah. Why am I lagging? He needs to land. He's coming down. He's coming down. Yeah, I can't come up because it's burning above me. Oh my god. I've never been knocked in the air as high as that. Think, you good? Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh. Almost took me out. <gasps> what? Look how many Endermen are in. Oh my god, why are they all down here? That's it. No more attacks? Okay. I need some of that XP badly. He's dead. Yeah, same. Don't I did not get it. the achievement. I guess you get it when you go through the portal. No. What was that? I got my hearts back. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, Robert did 99% of the work, but you see those few little hits I got on the dragon? Hey, that was all me, those hits. So that's... Anyways, the dragon was dead. So I jumped through the portal, and when I came out, I had full hearts. I was a man restored. So Robert and I went our separate ways, and I needed to get home without dying. So I grabbed a torch and started digging my way out. Oh. Okay. Back up in the mangrove. It's time to go home. When I got up to the surface, I was I was greeted by a very cool frog. You ever see one of these things? I love this man. Oh! How's it going? Can I pick this guy up? Yeah, hello! Oh! Where's it gonna go? Hello! Name this guy Kim. Give him the frog. Alright, see you later. It was a long road home, and it took me again like two or three days to get back to my house. And when I did, I finally met up with Robert, who I guess just had flown straight home in like two seconds and hey, it must be nice to fly Robert can't do that myself but you know what it's good good you can uh, he had been working on a trap outside of his base it was a bunch of powdered snow above a lava pit if you stepped on the wrong spot you'd, you'd just die you'd go straight down in the lava and I'm glad he told me because I could see myself walking straight into that I'd spend another good while on my farm getting XP and enchanting my gear I don't think that I was very good at it because Significant amount of time trying to get XP that I could have been using building or getting nether or something like that. But I was just kind of in this farm quite a bit actually. And I was kind of getting bored of being in the farm so much, so I decided to go out and do some more tree passing uh, while Kim was offline. What are you doing up there? Uh, <laughs> I just hear you clicking away up here. <laughs> yeah, I was just working on something up here. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, this is good. Kim's gonna love this. Little chickens everywhere. Hey, how's it going, guys? You guys doing good? Alright, perfect. I told Robert that I needed a mending book again, and uh, he told me he knew a villager that could sell me one, but it was kind of far, and the cost would be 14 emeralds. I said, Robert, if you if you go for me, I'll give you a little tip, and he agreed. And just as Robert left to go back to his base, uh, Lagundo told me that he wanted to meet up and discuss a potential trade, and as a man who was always open for trades, a man who was always open for business, I said, you know what, come on down to Lagundo, come on down to Kim's base, and uh, let's talk. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> 
What do you you're mean? inside. You're not supposed to be here. When he got here, he said that he wanted to use my farm in exchange for some books. I said, you know what? Uh, not books. I want diamonds. Give me, give me a man like me diamonds. He said, all right, yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you nine. I said, give me ten. He said, nope, I'll give you nine. I, like, I forget how the deal went, but he agreed to give me nine diamonds for, uh, Whatever. Then I went over to Robert's house. I gave him the first 34 emeralds and then an additional 16. With those, he took those and he f used his wings to fly to a far village to get me my books. As I was heading home, I spotted Lagundo flying through the air. He swooped down and gave me my block of diamonds. This man, this man got that, those diamonds fast. You know, incredibly fast. And he showed me something that would change the trajectory of my plan. So, I have two god apples. How many hearts do you have? I'm at four right now. I can get you above half. Well, you, you don't want? attack me during. You don't attack me during perch night. Okay. And and none of this and none of this Sean shenanigans <laughs> either. You don't attack me during perch night. Okay. I won't attack you. And I will give night. you. I will give you both. Now I know you're thinking, Sean. You you just looked a man in the eyes and lied straight to his face. But you know what? This was all part of Operation Desperate Man, and here I was about- I was a man now with more health. But something went wrong, because when the enchanted golden apples wore off, the effects that they give you, I was left with less hearts, meaning that when I went to the Ender Dragon and my health was reset, it was a glitch. And then by eating the apples, it only added extra hearts to where I was before the Ender Dragon. What, what was go- that was- that was not part of the plan. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. What's up? Something very bad has happened. What? Come inside, I'll tell you. This is not good. Oh, no, 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 no. What? What? Oh, where do I even begin? Oh. So, I made a deal with Lagundo. Oh, God. Here we go. I said that he could use my farm if he brought me nine diamonds, right? And so he uh, brought me the nine diamonds. And then he brought, he's like, look what I found. And he showed me two golden apples, right? So he gave you two golden apples? Yeah. And so he, he wanted me, well, I guess he, like, he assumed that I would eat them in front of him. So I did, right? I didn't tell, I, I lied. I said that I had a... Uh, I said, oh, I see. I said that yeah, had three yeah. hearts, right? And so I ate them in front of him. And uh, guess what it did? It, it gave you extra hearts? No. It reset my hearts back to where they were before you we went into the, the Ender Dragon. What? So now I'm down to five hearts. <laughs> and the deal I made with Lagunda where I said I wouldn't, I wouldn't attack him on Perch, right? I... I mean, I, I did mean to honor that agreement. I was not going to attack him, but I never said that I wouldn't stop him from walking into a trap. I wouldn't warn him about something that we were going to set up for him, and I wouldn't not set something up designed for... I just said I wouldn't attack him directly. I was very careful with my words, all right? Very, very cautious. And speaking of this, you ever, you ever see those compasses that say, like, lawful neutral or... Like hero or something like that. Where, where do you think I am in this? Let me post a comment saying who was what. Like uh, Kim, is, Kim is probably like, I don't know, Kim is probably good. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably like champ or something like that. Good. I don't know. But uh, around this time, Robert was almost back from getting the book. So I said, meet me. Let's go meet at Kim's house, right? Best place to meet on the server. Uh, but it turns out Kim, Robert, <laughs> Robert was already there up to something. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Uh, picked up a lot of eggs on the way. Yeah. I, need to, I put the books in here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. You just saw me come up here, didn't you? Yeah. No, I, did. <laughs> I, I, I can't. I absolutely cannot wait to watch. Kim's video and see his reaction to this. Oh my goodness! Can you believe what these crazy boys have done to me? <laughs> they tree passed. <laughs> this, 
Oh, I can't wait to watch this video. So I got my books from Robert and went home. I put mending on my sword, which means that I could theoretically start uh, clicking and go to bed in real life. And then when I'd wake up, I'd have one million levels of experience and enough gunpowder to destroy the enti this entire server. The problem was is that you know, what if I starved to death? What, what if I woke up and I was dead? Then I would lose everything and lose another heart. So I had to decide if I wanted to gamble or not. If I won, I'd, I'd have it all. XP, gunpowder, the respect of a million men. If I lost, I'd lose my sword, a heart, which I desperately needed at this point, And I'd look like an idiot in front of a, maybe thousands of people. So that's... Well, you know what? I already... It doesn't matter. But you know what? I, I, I can't... I, they're all, there's only one way I win this purge. By taking risks and, and winning big baby. So I, I set my computer up and I went to bed. When I woke up the next morning on Tuesday, I was one dead, dead man. Nothing. I had nothing. I lost it all. I have no idea what happened here. Uh, here's a third person left in. I was just dead, so that's... Who knows? And worst of all, there was now chickens all over my base. So, uh... Who... Who, who could have done this? So I went back to the farm and started again. So I sat there until I was like level 56, and I started enchanting a bunch of my gear again, and... I won't bore you with all the details, but what I was aiming for at this point was getting my tools in better shape so that I could set traps for Purge Night tomorrow. Kim was online, and I wanted to see what he was doing, so I went over, and he was- This guy was working on a video. Just sitting there working on a video. Can you believe this? But I do imagine they were- But I do imagine they were just how- <clears throat> But I do imagine they were just houses. What houses? And I just restored the barracks, added a camp, Hello. placed down some lava, Restore the temple at the very edge. Oh, I'm doing a video here. Hello, hey, how's it going? I told him about Robert's trap and I said, Kim, don't walk into it, okay? Don't, whatever you do, don't. He said, okay, crazy boy, and that was that. Do you notice that I have a ton of doors now? Like, that, that is, should indicate, these doors are for you. Gotta you go. Know that, right? I'd like to tell you a story about the world's dumbest man, okay? Uh, there was once a man who really wanted a powerful shovel, a stream, the world's strongest shovel, they say, so he spent a very long time in his farm. Uh, he then enchanted the shovel with the best enchants you could ever get, and even used a mending book on it to make sure that it would never break. And uh, when he was done with uh, what would be the best shovel a man could ever ask for, he tore, he used it to, to dig up, he dug a bunch of dirt, he was digging dirt, and, uh, he just he loved this shovel. It's a beautiful, beautiful shovel. But within five minutes of making the shovel, he became careless and stopped paying attention uh, to its durability. And sadly, he just he broke it. He's the world's dumbest man, and that, that man is me. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I asked if anyone had an extra mending book, because I needed to fix this again. Uh, Shadow told me that Sneeve had a villager that would sell me one. And best of all, it was outside of his base, which means that it wasn't it wasn't technically tree passing, but uh, let's be honest here, it wouldn't really have mattered if I, I did. Ah, here we go. Whoa. Oh. Very nice. Oh. Hello, how's it going? Huh? Huh? Pleasure doing business with you. At this point, things were were very close to kicking off. Everyone was sniffing each other out, trying to figure out what their plans were for Purge Night. If they're staying in, if they're going out, if they're gonna who they're gonna try to kill, if they, who's who's in their alliance, who was doing what. I was trying to figure out if I wanted projectile protection on my armor. I figured everyone would be using bows, so it might be a good option. As so, I, and then I then I put piercing four on a crossbow, thinking that it would break armor. I have no idea if that if that's how that works. It's just something I did. I thought, okay, this is gonna be good. I now also had a double chest filled to the brim with gunpowder, but if I wanted to convert it into TNT, I was going to need a lot of sand. Not just a little, a ton of sand, like probably ten chests full. So, I had to do that, but I had no idea where our beach was, or a desert biome, or where even to get this much sand. And I wasn't the only one who needed sand. Kim did too, so we agreed to go out and look for it together. And you could have done it alone, but for some reason I was just like, hey Kim, let's go. It took us a while, but eventually we found a beach, and we started digging. And, hey, look at this! We found a hidden treasure chest on the beach, yeah, just by chance. When I got back, I finally started crafting TNT, and yeah, look how much I made. I, I barely had enough sand to even start at the chest, but I made, I made so much TNT. 
I, I was strapped. I also had a ton of leftover gunpowder that, it, you know, I probably probably harvested a little bit more of that, but you, you know, who cares? Gunpowder is good. With that all taken care of, I was finally ready to start prepping my base for the purge. However, while I was doing that, I forgot to record a few crucial things that happened. The first was uh, Shadow. Uh, while Robert and Kim and I were planning what we were going to do on purge night and discussing how we were going to kill Shadow, he showed up. So we immediately stopped talking about it. And then this man gave us enchanted golden apples. And not just one or two. He gave me and Kim each like four. So look at my heart style. This man was nearly fully restored again. How, how could we kill a man like this? A man as kind as this. So on the spot, I, I tossed away my plans of killing him. Well, first of all, let's be fair here. I was, I was planning on killing everyone, okay? So not, not just him, it was everyone. Uh, but I said, okay, you know, we're not killing Shadow anymore. He's, he's a good guy. He gave me all these apples. How can I do that? He also told us something rather interesting. Apparently, Laguno had asked him, do you want to be final two with me? And if I remember correctly, while Laguno didn't say that he exactly wanted to be final two with me, he did say something somewhat similar. I don't need to share everything else, but I just won't attack you directly during the purge. Okay, I agree to that. So I told Shadow, uh, I said, he, he said that to me too. You're not the only one. And then Robert said it as well, which you know, who knows if he actually said that to Robert or not, but I, it was enough to convince everyone that ooh, we needed to kill Laguno. This was the man that needed to go down. He needed to go down fast. First man to die in the purge had to be Lagundo. And after he was dead, then it could be every man for themselves. But he had to, he had to die. Okay, I have it. I have the plan to kill Lagundo. Okay. But it's going to require all of us to work together on this. Okay. I like the sound of that. All right. We're going to rig the main town to blow. Okay. We're going to lure okay. him to the town under the pretense that we want to talk. When I give the signal, which will be, you know what? Things are just about to get a little bit crazy around here. When I say that, the town's going to blow. <laughs> I don't know how, I, I don't know what that looks like. I don't know. I have enough TNT to level the entire town. Okay. So we have to find a way that we can all get away and he'll be stuck and the bomb will go off. But how are we going to do it? Well, we still have to figure that out. So we went to the village and we spent the next hour and a half plotting how exactly we were going to kill Lagundo. Like, I can use our, like our small alliance to advantage to kind of get him into a place. That's true. Yes, that's a good idea. It's a very good idea, actually. He's going to have to tr inevitably trust one of us. So we might need to fake a fight. We fake mm -hmm. a fight in the town. Call for backup. He comes. Detonate the trap. We have to get him to chase him to something where he falls, and then he falls into cobwebs. Ah, uh, yeah, cobwebs. We do that. We learn. We learn. We use someone as bait, but the person has a portal, like a, a stasis chamber, to get away. Yeah. Yeah, to get away. So, and he will blow it up. So he, so where he won't die because someone will save him in the last second. Oh yeah, but he's gonna use ender pearls 100%. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is like, let's say he's chasing us, which I don't know if he would. He probably won't chase you into a house like this, but let's say he did. There's like some sort of pre-built like drop or something like this, right? You got a trap door. I land on it. And then I like, so it's like this. I, I would land here then I'd hit the trap door and he'd keep going. And then I'd hit the button with the TNT. He dies. Mm. How do we know that? Robert, would you go into a building? I won't go into any building. If I see someone go into a building, I would never go into that building. Especially with the wings. Yeah, because uh, Laguna's pretty like yeah, hardcore like Robert, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, I would charge right into the building. No second thought. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is there a need for... Hi, idiots. Hi, idiots. I'm not coming down there, idiots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think he'd land? He probably won't land. He might land, actually, because it's very tiresome. And then maybe I'll land on a roof. Yeah, he might land on a roof. Oh... Uh... The only way we can we can get him with TNT is if we drop it from above. So okay, okay, hear. okay, okay. Then what if we what if we build a big pillar up right above those three houses right now? Uh, we'll destroy all the block except for one. You'll fly up there. You won't be involved in this meeting. Me and you will pretend that we're going to kill each other still. It'll be us three who meet here. Okay. You drop the TNT. Like there's got to be a cave around here, right? There is a it's cave. Close by. Yeah. There's a big cave right here, actually. Hold on, he knows it. He's gone mining in it before. 
if he if he oh if he starts to warm up to me and he's and he doesn't follow me i'll be like come on lagundo i thought you i thought you want to do this together yeah you're gonna betray me and then he might be like okay let's go yeah that's true finally we settled on a plan a, a plan so perfect that it absolutely could not fail zero percent chance of failure this was yeah, a perfect plan if i do say so myself the first step was to make this cave smaller, more narrow and more tight, but not too tight. Open enough that a man wouldn't feel scared to go into, but tight enough that flying out would not be easy. It would be tough to get out of. To do this, we use silk touch pickaxes to re-sculpt the rock formation, and we we're very careful to add natural ores like copper and coal, so it didn't look like someone had built this. Next, we dug out the floor, and we, we lined this floor with enough TNT to kill even the most armored man. This was the world's biggest explosion about to happen right here. Another, yet another world record on my channel, okay? The biggest explosion. This is going to be absolutely massive. But we didn't stop there because we also added TNT to the, the sides of the cave, even the roof. This whole thing was rigged to, to blow, okay? Then we covered it so you couldn't tell that there was any TNT there. We put nice stone blocks over top of it so it didn't look like anything was up. Next, we did some, we were doing some science and learned how ender pearl sta stasis chambers work. All right, I'm fine. Blah, blah, blah. They're going to get do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it doesn't teleport you because it's in that water landed. elevator thing. Yeah. Oh, it technically didn't land yet. Uh, that's smart. All right. Now we need two of them though, but that's perfect. Then we tested how end crystals worked. Oh my god. Get me away from that. That's a <laughs> disaster. <laughs> What's the blast radius? It didn't seem like it did much. It it does a lot of damage. Yeah, Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I, did, I, I didn't take any damage. Stand right next to it. It does no, nothing to me. Uh, it's gotta be shot then. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> wow! Oh. oh my god! <laughs> okay. And after that, we tactically placed them in spots where we uh, used a. Uh, we, ran algorithms to determine where, to predict where Lagundo may run when he was scared, a scared animal about to die. We put them in those exact spots. Finally, we wired the whole thing so that in one single button press, the entire cave would detonate. The plan was simple. We thought Lagundo was likely to go to Shadow's base and hide out with him. I would show up at Shadow's base and start a fight and run as fast as I could to the cave, where unbeknownst to Lagundo, Robert and Kim would be hiding in a sealed room I would run into the back of the cave and Shadow would chase me in. Lagundo, being the cautious man he is, likely would not follow Shadow into the cave, so we had to kind of persuade him a little bit. This is where, if in the case that Lagundo did not follow Shadow into the cave, I would feign an attack on Shadow. I would start hitting him and Shadow would cry out, Lagundo, help me, he's, he's gonna kill me. At which point Lagundo would enter the cave. And once he did, he sealed his fate because Robert would come up from behind and seal the whole thing with obsidian blocks. Then he would press the button after I shout the word bugaboo. Now I know you're thinking, oh, how are you gonna get out of there? How are you gonna, how are you gonna get out? I'll tell you how. Kim activates the ender pearl stasis chambers, teleporting me and Shadow out of the cave, leaving Lagundo sealed in where he's, he has nowhere to go but to be exploded into a million bits. The four of us, we're going to kill Lagundo. At least that's what Robert, Kim, and Shadow thought, because you see, I had, I had other plans. Robert, Kim, and Shadow had absolutely no idea that they had just built their own tomb. Because late that night, at like four o'clock in the morning, when everyone had gotten off and was sleeping, I woke back up and I got to work. I snuck back into the cave and I added more TNT. So much TNT that anyone standing on the platform where Robert, Shadow, and Kim would be standing would be incinerated along with Lagundo. As soon as Robert hit that button, he would kill not only Lagundo, but himself, Shadow, and Kim, leaving only me and Sneev alive. And according to them, Sneev is not the type of man to PvP, so in other words, an easy kill for me. This, this was my direct path to victory. This is how I would win the purge. But for some reason, I felt... I kind of felt bad about this. I had spent like 50 hours playing Minecraft with these guys. I, I watched as they worked so hard on building their bases, gearing up, having fun, helping me out with golden apples, adventuring with me, pulling pranks on one another, bringing me to ancient cities, bringing me to the end. I was about to betray all of these guys. 
started thinking, yeah, am, I, am I the villain of this story? Am I the... Was I the bad guy here? Because I kind of felt like it, so... I considered for a moment if I should disable the trap and fight these men honorably. I didn't know what to do. And you know what? You won't know what I did either until the, the purge happens, because you'll, you'll have to wait and see. In the event that the trap didn't work, I needed a backup plan. The plan was my tower, and I had a, so much stuff to do to get this tower to get tower ready to go, and I had a short amount of time to do it. First, I put up walls all around my base. The idea was to not use them as protection in the physical sense, but every most Robert and Laguno could fly around, and I, I didn't want people walking across my. I wanted them to land in my tower because my tower would be rigged to blow. So I added a whole new floor with solid oak planks and made the entire floor made out of TNT and then made it so there was high. I, I can't explain this in words, but you can just see what I did. Then I covered it and made it impossible to tell there was any TNT there. It was all good to go. Next, I moved the balcony up to a new level, uh, stripping the old one off and sealing up the windows so that if you were flying around, you would inevitably end up on the top floor. That's where you'd end up going, which is, of course was the, the one that was rigged to blow. You might be wondering, okay, well, how do you live and they die? Well, I'll tell you how. I I disconnected from the server, made a new creative world, and started testing it out because I had no idea how this was going to work. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. So what if I place it? If I place it down first, then the TNT, it goes off. Does it not activate redstone? It does. How am I going to do this? If they see this salt sensor, it's, I'm, I'm dead. They won't, they won't land. Let's say, because I have the wood like this, right? The only way I can think of doing this, there's no way to do it. Obsidian saves me. So I need this obsidian box around me. Okay, this is the practice. Well, I'd just be dead there, so... Purge over immediately, one week of work, gone. Okay, I'm in the tomb. They may not see it. They fly in and basically see me like this. At that point I go, like that. Let me try it one more time, just so I, I'm like, I completely understand how this works. I, because I get one, I get one shot at it. These rabbits need to go. These, ra these rabbits are gonna... Die. Kill at... E Minecraft Rabbit. Uh, kill at E. Oh. I would walk up to the hole with the sensor. I place it down. I shift, climb over to the ladder. Holding shift, I get up up top. I release shift. I hold shift again, immediately landing on the wall. Then I break the wall. It went off. Okay, so good thing I tested it. Okay, here's version two, which I, I at this point, I, I, I think is gonna be the one I have to do. Then let's say they land inside. Oh, wait a minute. Now I place the sensor. And now I don't move. Now I don't move at all. I can look around. As long as I don't touch the keyboard, I'm fine. Okay, I think that's it. With everything figured out, it was time to have the purge. I ran towards Kim's house. He told me that his tower was rigged to blow and that if anyone put down a single piece of TNT, it would detonate. It didn't take long for Lagundo to show up. Someone's flying. Who is that? Yeah, I see him way up there. Who are you? Announce yourself. Who are you? Announce yourself. Go away. Step away. Oh! 
Jim! Oh my... He survived somehow, but we still had plausible deniability. So when he returned, we acted as if though we, we didn't know who flew by and we got nervous. So we just blew the tower up. And Laguno claimed it was Robert, but we, well, we knew it was him. We saw him. Kim saw his name. So we knew it was, Anyway, so we used this as an opportunity to act as though we didn't trust Robert. That we didn't, weren't working with him. What happened to the house? Oh my goodness. Can't you attacked us. Someone flew into his- someone activated his trap. I'm not the only one with wings. Who else? Robert is the only other one with wings. Have you seen him yet? Okay, okay back yeah, up. Yeah, I was just- I was, I was just over at- I couldn't hear you. I was just over at his place. Interesting. He's he on has the roof wings? of his house. Yes, he has wings. He's the one who actually killed the dragon. I just got there afterwards. We don't like you being too close. I can't hear you if I'm any further. This is the most, this is the closest I can be. He's coming this way. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh no. Hide. Hide. Wait, I'm gonna get him to chase me. What happened here? Oh, it was you. Was it you who flew me? over? I just, I just came over now. No, it w obviously wasn't me. Someone was here. Did you just get here Lugundo now? Was here. I just got here now. I was okay, he was Sneed. here. Lugundo like was under here. under my base. Sneeb's like under my base for some reason. Oh no, okay. Okay, we Sneave need- and Shadow are doing something. They have like millions of dogs near my base underneath the ground. Oh no. I didn't like that. I did not like that at all. I, I hadn't factored in that Sneeve might be up to something. Of course Sneeve would be up to something. Why would I not- I did- this was not part of the plan. Sneeve doing stuff. So, I, I don't know. What's worse is that apparently he was now working with Shadow, and Shadow was a very crucial part of our plan. So, I didn't know what to do. We decided we have to go see what's, what was going on over there. So, we left Kim's base and tried to get to Shadow's. Oh my god. Look at this pack of dogs. When I got to Shadow's base, it seemed as though he was not working with Sneeve, and Sneeve was nowhere to be found. All I saw was the giant bridge. So, I walked across and got ready to set in motion the plan that we had worked so hard on. What do you want? I told you already. At the very what? beginning. I said, see you on Purge Night. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Oh, you want to do it? Oh, hey, Sean. Whoa! Shadow started chasing me, and Laguno, Laguno took the bait. He followed me, and it was hard because he was, he had wings, and he was trying to burn me or put lava on me. Or, the guy was, he was attacking me, but I was able to, I, I, I was able to use words to get him to stop. Are you attacking me right now, Lagundo? Coming for you. All right, buddy, you ready? Why are you, why are you doing this? We made a promise. You attacked my friend. <laughs> what, you said, I didn't know you were in alliance with him. When I got to the cave, I didn't know if Robert and Kim were in position yet. I was hoping that they were, and I just kind of had to just, just risk it. So I ran into the cave. I jumped down and Shadow followed me in. But Lagundo, as we predicted, was apprehensive about going any further. So we had to initiate the next phase of the plan. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, we don't have to do this. <laughs> Look, you cornered. We don't all. We don't have to do this. <laughs> he's, he's so cornered. We do not. Okay, let's talk about this. The three of us can okay. work together. What are we gonna do? Wait, Laguna, you made a deal with him too. I just that he wouldn't attack me. Why don't we just work together then? Wouldn't that make sense? Out. Oh. Oh. Are you two actually oh. fighting? Yeah, I'm gonna die. I thought you were helping me. That was it. Everything had led to this moment. Bugaboo! Ah, go! Bugaboo! Ah. Bugaboo! Ah, go! Bugaboo! Ah. Bugaboo! 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 Bugaboo right now! Bugaboo right now! Bugaboo! 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 I knew this is coming. Bugaboo! 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 Wait, what happened? I ate golden apples! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew you were all in on me! The only thing I didn't consider was that... I, I forgot to put my ender pearl in the stasis chamber. A mistake that would cost my life. And wor worst of all, I, you know, I should have set the trap to kill them.
I should have rigged this thing to kill all of them because at least I wouldn't be the only- I wouldn't be the only one dead right now. You know what? I was. After the initial explosion, everyone fled. At this point, Laguno knew that Shadow had betrayed him, so he started trying to drop TNT on everyone's head. But Robert had fled and had one more trick up his sleeve. Robert, are you in- Oh no! You are not! Yes, you are! <laughs> <laughs> Robert and Laguno started flying into the sky trying to escape the wither. Kim had fled underground, and this man was currently digging as far and as fast as he could, but they, I mean, look at him. They, they call him the man who goes far. If you haven't left a comment yet, now is the time. Leave a comment saying, go Norwegian Kim, go. Dig, dig, dig. Get away from these guys. You gotta go, go, go. Something like that. But uh, what was Sneeve doing during all this? You know what? This man was... This man was invisible. Walking around with no armor on. And remember that massive pack of dogs I walked by? Those were his, and he was right with them when- if I had hit- he could have killed me right then and there. You know, he would have pounced on me like a madman. At this point, Laguno started to question Robert to see if he was involved in, uh, Operation Bugaboo. Are you, Are you involved with Bugaboo? What is Bugaboo? Okay, that's probably a no. Bugaboo? What is that? Is that Operation Bugaboo? <laughs> Did someone- Yeah, they should- <laughs> Bugaboo! <laughs> This weather's coming to kill me! Shadow fled to his house, where he and Robert started to talk briefly, while Lagundo had flown back to his base. This was right around the time that Sneeve, I guess, turned to assassinate Kim. Oh! oh. 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 Huh? <laughs> he died! He just died! He went for an assassination on Kim. <laughs> But Kim didn't have much time to laugh about it because almost immediately Robert tried to get him too. So Kim used Ender Pearls to teleport underground, where he quickly started laying a TNT trap. He used his classic dig as far and dig as fast as you can get trick to get away. Laguno decided to strike at Robert and flew to his house and lit it on fire. And at one moment he came one block away from triggering Robert's TNT trap. What, why did Laguno do this, you may ask? Well, yeah, here's why. Hi, you tried to lava bucket me, so. Yeah, prepare to die. And then, uh, yeah, Lagundo died. I've, I have you're gonna have to watch his video to see what happened there. Apparently he just fell out of the sky, so... He, the very end, he, the man was just dead. Alright, I, I tried to, I threatened Kim in front of Lagundo to make it seem like I was gonna kill Kim. But then I tried to kill Lagundo, then he turned on me. Yeah. Yeah, well he's dead now. So, I guess, uh... We'll go our separate ways. <laughs> you don't, you don't, you don't wanna... Okay, well I guess we can hunt out Kim. We can hunt Kim down, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. And then, and then we'll fight to the death, or we can sleep, whatever you wanna do. Yeah, there's, uh, there, there's three withers in, in near the village right now. Oh, there's, okay, that's why. Robert and Shadow planned to hunt down Kim and kill him, but Kim, well, Kim wasn't very far, he was in my tower, watching the whole thing. Kim, Kim can see them up there. He missed it. He doesn't know they're hunting him. He has no idea they're hunting them. Kim couldn't hear them. He was it was it was too far away, and he had no idea that they were planning. And sadly, Kim had no idea how to use my tower trap either, because he could have you know, would have been very useful right now. Then Kim said, "What? Well, one of my favorite things." Robert, is there any way you can talk about this? Robert, is there any way? Is there any way you can talk about this? And then Robert flew up and she started lying to this man. Listen to me. I know you attacked me. Laguna's gone. It's different now. Are you back, Kim? Laguna, no, it's Robert, please. <sighs> no, Laguna's dead. I, I, I only did it in front of Laguna to make him trust me. Oh, really? You mean that? Yeah, and then I tried to kill him, yeah. Oh, no, he's lying to him. Oh, by the way, what, what Sean? You, you, you have, have to leave. Her. We have to leave. <laughs> yeah, no. Get in you the box. Blow it up, though. Yeah, I do have. It's just me, you, and Shadow. Yeah, no. <laughs> it was so funny. Steve died right next to me. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Shadow. <laughs> Kim! Oh, the save! Come on, Kim! Um, I didn't mean to hit you, Kim. I'm sorry. Are you sure oh. about that? <laughs> they were shooting Kim with arrows and throwing potions on him. And worst of all, they were they, some, they were just lying to him about it, too. They somehow convinced him that it was the Wither doing this and not them. Poor Kim. He, he just ran and dug another hole and hid. While this was going on, Robert spawned another Wither. He, by the way, this is the third one. I forgot to mention when he spawned the second one. Man was out of control. Shortly after this, Kim fled, and Robert found him outside of his tower. It's me and you. I'm not murdering you, Kim. 
I'm kill, not gonna kill, murder you. Kill, Let's be at the end. Kill him, we have kill. to find Shadow and kill him. Kill him, Kim. <laughs> kill him, Kim. Meet at the village. Meet at the village. Meet at the village. Okay, okay, village. No, Kim, they're gonna murder you. I don't know why Kim kept falling for all this, but he went to the village and confronted Shadow. Shadow. Why? Did you attack me? Did you throw the potions? Potions? No, I don't got potions. He's got potions. So who threw potions me? It's the wither that gave him the potion effect. <laughs> he doesn't know it. <laughs> no, Robert dropped potions on him. What's happening here? Oh, we did? Yeah. I don't know if I need you or not. <laughs> what do you do to Sneeve? I don't know. I think a zombie got him. Finally, they just openly attacked Kim. So Kim fled and used the ender pearls to get underground back to where he originally hid and where he had set the TNT trap. Oh, Kim! Oh! Oh, the timing was a little bit off. Oh, no! no. no. <laughs> ah, Kim was dead, leaving just Robert and Shadow. At this point, they had the option to end the purge. To end it, all they had to do was sleep in two beds next to one another, signifying that they trust each other and that they were ready to end the purge. And sleep together. <laughs> yeah, we can end tonight. All right, come. Um, I don't, don't have a are bed. Are there any beds here? They agreed and started looking for beds in the village. One of the buildings at the very edge of the village had beds in it. But the house, it had TNT under it. And Robert said not to sleep there because it must have been left over by Kim or someone like me. And he, But then they tested it and they realized, hey, it's not wired. It's all good. So they went into it and Robert got in bed. This was it. Yeah, I guess we can sleep. If they sleep in these two beds. <laughs> it's okay. Kill him, Shadow. Kill him, Shadow. Wait, why is it? Yes! Whoa! Whoa. Hey, no, no, no. Ah, yes! No, no, ah. I didn't mean I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> no! I meant the murder! <laughs> left click. Okay. Sure. Left click. There you go. Murder! <laughs> Robert, yes! Oh, Shadow, no! <laughs> oh, Shadow! He survived it! Okay. okay. Robert had set that TNT. It was a trap. And just as the two of them left, they started shooting at each other. Once Robert got low, he took off and flew to his base, and Shadow followed. Shadow tried to ender pearl up to his base, but he missed and landed one block away from Robert's snow trap. But he made it up and went inside. Here he is. Here it goes. This is the fight. There's no flying away from this. Get back here. He got him. Hey, there it is. Shadow did it. Shadow wins. Yes. Oh, looks like the wings didn't work in your favor on this one. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. My Shadow! Yeah. There he is. <laughs> Shadow was the sole survivor of the purge. And yeah, I just gotta say, huge congratulations to Shadow for surviving through all that and coming out, coming out the man, the champion. Although it should have been, he was the champion, right? This man won. So you know what? Go subscribe to him. And uh, yeah, this was good. You just wait till you see what we do next, though.